Hello and welcome to yet another Combos and Chill Dirty Talk session, episode 67. I'm your host, Dirty, and this is my co-host and my wife. She's a phoenix. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I mean, I can Everyone see... Everyone in the chat, thank yeah. you so much for dropping by. There's thank a first-time viewer as well, S SPR... Spooky. How you doing, Spooky? Murder Base is in the house. Hey, Murder Base. How are you? T-Philly is in the house. What's up, guys? Thank welcome you very much for joining us. Thank welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, uh, <coughs> we want to give a tiny uh, introduction to our guest today. Mm -hmm. uh, he was kind of like a connection type of networking with a, another friend of ours in the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a musician. He's a vocalist from a band called Younger. They're from California. And they just like six, seven, like a week ago, they released their uh, single and a music video for it, which oh, yeah. uh, called My Way Out. Yep. And I mean, there is a lot to talk with this oh, yes. uh, with Jay, and oh, his yes. name is Jay. What he said? <laughs> Malkin. He said Malkin, he can say it Jay simply. Malkin. You know what? But it's it's. I knew it was French. <laughs> I had the pr perfect gut feeling for this. <laughs> but anyway, without any further ado, let's get Jay on board. Jay, welcome to Combos and Chill Sessions, man. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, how's Mom? it going? You? All thank good. you guys so much for having me. Oh, no, no, no. The pleasure is ours. Yeah, the pleasure is um, ours. And thank we you We always want to support artists that are, yeah, you know, just beginning their journey with everything. And uh, also, uh, it makes us curious to know about what other genres of music are releasing new things, you know? Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. And uh, again, thank you very much for the newcomers. I love Younger from Spruki. And uh, we got... Oh. Hi, Bob. Hi, hi, Bub. LOL. Younger is the best. <laughs> hi, Bub. I don't know how to say that. Oh, by the way, Bundle sorry for butchering your yeah. usernames, guys. We even butchered Jay's last name, <laughs> even he, even though he told us that. Yeah, he, I they asked me, and I was like, I kind of want to let you guys just butcher it, and like, you know, oh you guys, God. you guys did it anyways. Thank you. No, I just had a blank, you know, that that moment of like Jay. Mm, but then I, I, because he asked me and I was like, listen, what I think is it feels French. So I said, it must be like Malkui or something like, yeah. you know, like you have to say it uh, in that way. So, <laughs> but again, enough <laughs> of, uh, look, uh, enough of us talking. Jay, we yeah. gave a tiny introduction to you, but we kind of like, I, I kind of fucked it up. But why don't you go ahead and, you know, introduce yourself for the audience over here and, you know, tell, tell them something about yourself, man. Perfect. All right. Hey, so my name's Jay. Um, how do I pronounce my last name? Um, <laughs> just kidding. Just clowning on you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, my name's Jay. I'm, I'm from Sacramento, California. I sing for a band called Younger. Um, that, yeah, like, like they were saying, we just released this song called My Way Out a week ago, a week and a day ago, with uh, the music video that I'm really proud of. Um, just, yeah, yeah. It's, there is a lot to that. talk. Yeah, there is a lot yes. to talk about the music. I have video. a lot of things to because I listened to the song when I was working at office. Like I was just doing a random report, and I was like, okay, I need to research on this. Like I need to know what the sound, uh, the song is saying, and what it sounds like. So once we discuss everything, then I'll start. There is a very like, interesting wanna... backstory to the whole video. Really? And by the way, a... I've not seen the video yet. It's yeah. gonna be on the show. Oh, yeah. Here. yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Oh, I can't wait for you to see it. Yeah, dude, the, <laughs> no, I can't wait dude, the video was dope when I was having an offline uh, Zoom call. So you've already the... seen it then? Yeah, yeah. When I was having the call. Without with Jay, me, the audacity. You were at work. What the fuck you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> wait for her. Come on, man. <laughs> so Jay, man, take us back. How did this whole becoming a vocalist happen to you? Like, was it something through, like, you know, your family members were, like, you know, musicians or, like, you know, music lovers? How did things started with you? Yeah, that's that's about that. Like, um, my uh, my mom and dad were both musicians. And honestly, everyone lied to me when I was super young and told me that I was a good singer. And so I just kept doing it until I became one. Yeah. And, like, we were, like, I got better. But, like, I just listened to, uh, to the, the beginning of everything. I'm like, you guys lied to me. <laughs> you guys lied to my face, told me I'm good, but I'm grateful for that because, yeah, I kept I kept with it. But, um, yeah, yeah, I. Um, how far back does that go? I mean, I was, was thinking it, of this today. Yeah, you were Sorry, thinking ahead. about it today. He's <laughs> like, oh, he might ask me that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, but was it your mom or your dad like encouraging you, or like anyone from the family? 
I would say both. My dad was a, a drummer for a band that was signed to Capitol Records back in the oh, nice. 60s. He's super old. He's like, he's 82. My dad's super oh, God old. God bless him, man. God bless him. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. He's a champion. Uh, he, uh, he, <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely like wanted to inspire me to play drums. I tried. Um, I don't know. I did not get as good as he wanted me to. So, uh, yeah, singing, singing came around and just kept doing that and just writing songs, recording songs. Um, I, I feel very fortunate to have uh, grown up in a in an era where like I was able to just like record things easily, mm -hmm. not in the ways that they did in like the past. So I, I I don't know. That's way way beyond me. So I've I've been like messing around with this for like over 15 years. I'd say. Oh, nice. Wow. That's that's great, man. That's I mean, awesome. Tackling this thing since uh, childhood, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Always yeah. been a journey. <laughs> It's that's good, man. I mean, that's good. But uh, like the, this whole journey started you with younger, or younger is like nowadays. Oh yeah, Young, younger is the is yeah. That's uh, it, it started like I did like acoustic music, acoustic like just singer songwriter mm. stuff. Right. I uh, just I found out how to play a few chords on the guitar, and then I was like, oh, this is fun, and I just like wrote mm. the same song over and over mm. and over, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I did that, and then. Um, you know, honestly, I don't know how I ended up in a rock band because when I moved to Sacramento, I was a I was a R and B, I Ooh. was like marketing myself as like an R and B artist. Um, oh, okay. that's great. Somehow, somehow this happened. It was a dream of mine for sure, but like I uh, I really just kind of wrote it off. Like I don't know, not in the cards. So mm -hmm. yeah, Sacramento brought 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 me into like the rock scene for sure. Mm -hmm. So how do you find that contrast of like you trying to, uh, you know, from R and B and then to how was that switch? Um, I just kind of I try and take pieces of uh, R and B and just many other things that I'm inspired by, like jazz, uh, neo soul, mm -hmm. um, just really every style of music. I, I have a lot of a lot of inspirations, and I just try and take those all and mold them into my own style and, and bring bring what I can to the table with rock instead mm -hmm. of writing right. just a just a straight a plain rock song um, mm. just I don't know my my take on it is definitely I, I have a little bit more of a R&B twist I think I think I could say yeah oh yeah I saw that style in the song as well when yeah. I was listening um, it brought back a lot of memories of the bands I used to listen I, I, to before, I really but... love the whole melody and the yes. whole harmonizing oh, parts yes. you've done. It's exactly. really, really great. That's like, why I'm saying I, I see yeah. that influence, yeah. W like, anyway, guys, we're going to be watching the video. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take, like, I, I will say my personal point of view of it. Because when the banger, you know, that whole lick, that uh, chord, that, uh, you know, that delayish guitar that starts in the beginning i thought it's like a post-rock type of a music but then i was like wait there is a vocalist mm -hmm. so but it all gelled in too fucking good i can't wait till till you see the video the video I, is just I, I, i'm so excited i was telling now. him i was telling him offline i was like dude this is like hollywood level oh, it's damn. really good it's awesome. really dope. Say that. it is really dope Okay. I'm not joking. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm yeah, so yeah. intrigued. Seriously, it, it is. It is. It is a dope song, and okay. the, the whole melody lines and everything. It's nice. I know. Uh, it, it really gels together, man. Yeah, like for for me, uh, when I heard the song, it reminded me of bands I was listening to when I was a teenager before I got into heavier deathcore, metalcore. Mm -hmm. Like I used to listen to back in uni. I used to listen to like Script and Secondhand Serenade, and you know, like all these songs. So somehow it triggered all those memories listening oh. to that oh, okay. song okay. It, i went back to all those like you know the script is an amazing band the vocalist is good as well this even by the way know. jay these words coming from phoenix she's always saying the truth you know she she's one of these fangirls if she like had a emotion like you yeah. know been you know activated while listening to yeah. someone's music i will they tell actually, the artist like, yeah, yeah tell the artist so <laughs> yeah because uh like it, it, for example if that song was there for uh like when i was a, like you know the all that that emotional stuff like my teenager self would have eaten the song like mm. on repeat whole day yep. you know it's that kind kind of uh the memory yeah, for yeah. me so i that's mean that's so cool so uh, uh jay talking about younger how the band name came together because it's kind of Honestly, like interesting. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, it it uh, 
just uh, honestly, it's uh, it was available. <laughs> it was it was available. Just taken. It's the German spelling of younger, mm -hmm. and oh, um, right. really no no point no like no um, nothing from that 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 we brought into this. Just just really just needed something that was available, and so okay. yeah, just yeah they they had this band all. Um, uh, kind of, like, it was going like way before I got, like, before oh, I got oh, in. Oh, okay. okay. There's a funny story of how this whole thing started, actually. I mean, you guys it, care, but for sure. Oh, so what? why the so why the fuck we brought you on, bro? <laughs> I don't know, man. Please do tell. <laughs> please, is, please, this please. Is the convos part. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take it back to the beginning. So I was I was singing for this this other band before this, um, and. Uh, the, Dylan, the guitarist for Younger, he he messaged me when we released our song, first rock song I ever did. And he was just like, he's like, "Yo, you should come sing in my band." And I was mm. like, "Well, I don't, I don't know." It was just a very, very unique time frame, and so that didn't happen. And so much time like just went, and uh, they built the name for Younger with uh, different vocalists and uh, like when was it? So uh, really in like the beginning of 2020, I want to say when. When everything was going super great, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I reached out to him, and they just happened to have like, it, it just happened to be like they let go of the uh, previous vocalist. Oh, uh, he moved okay. on, and so I was just like, hey, whoa, that like really worked out, and <laughs> uh, yeah. So he just sent me these four instrumentals. They were recording with Bo Burchell of Seosin, and I was like, what? That's that's wild. That's that's insane. That's that's just like I, I couldn't imagine doing that, and uh, so yeah, he sent me these instrumentals. Um, My way out was the first song I wrote. Oh, uh, nice. Like I, I wrote wow. over these over something that they had already done. Mm. I didn't listen to the to uh, the the other guy's song, uh, the other guy's versions, just because I didn't want to get like mm. I, you know, uh, just, just to like get pitch. distracted and do do like do your own spin on the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm. I, I I never really listened to them because I just really wanted to. 100% uh, have it come from me. I didn't want to, mm -hmm. I don't, I would never want to rip yeah, off indeed, anybody. Indeed, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, so out of nowhere, I'm working with um, Bo of Seosin and uh, this talented group of dudes that are like the most talented people that I've, I've, I've ever met. Mm -hmm. um, it's absolute, absolute dream just to, to, to just listen to them play music. Um, and yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, it's been it's been a very interesting, unexpected journey, and mm -hmm. finally we are here, and we have been just working on this for like the last year, um, more or less, just just getting everything tightened up and figuring out what steps we want to take. And so, yeah, we started rolling it out in August of last year, and we've, we've got a couple more um, uh, uh, of this collection, and yeah, it's just it's a, it's a dream. It's an absolute dream. I. I I couldn't be more grateful for the people I work with, for sure. Oh man, that is that's, so that's, awesome to hear. That's a that's a great backbone story. Yeah. And even hi Bob, uh, uh, sorry. Bob, I don't know how to say. I mean, sorry if I'm butchering your name, but hi, hi Bob, Bob, LOL, saying <laughs> it's uh, that you know they're the same. The passion gets me. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, it's it's good to know this stuff. I mean, like you know, because whoever we got on the show, they always have a back like you know backlog story to the whole name or the yes. song or like you know the you know the concept that they wanted to work with even exactly. their artist name you know yeah so, like uh, even for me as as a listener uh, i i focus more on like my i keep my mind open even though i'm a metalhead mm -hmm. like i'm into heavier shit but like when it comes to different music I am intrigued on the process of what goes into, like, she's for example... Just, she's just lying. She gives me a hard time about listening to mumbo rap and stuff like this. <laughs> Believe me, man. She gives me shit for listening listen, to mumbo rap. She's just bullshitting. Man. Listen, mumbo rap is... Don't... What is your take see, on See, I come from the too? era of Eminem. Don't fucking talk to me. Mm, and D12, preach, okay? Preach, 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 preach. Yeah, I Eminem come from D12. Eminem is a lyrical... God. Yeah. Yeah. We are not. We, we, are, we are not. Hair. We are not disagreeing with exactly. that point. He is a god. I'm not like, disagreeing with that point. It's just that. Mm, sh anyway, continue. You were saying your, you your reasoning is not valid. I'm not reasoning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not. Valid. You guys are gonna call it mumble rap? I feel like I feel like that's not a very. 
kind name for something that you like. I don't know. Mumble rap? Uh, I mean, it's already that, out there. That's like, the official term of the genre, though. You know? Is it really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, dude. Wow. Apparently. Oh, but wow. now they're just covering it up with being a rapper only. Apparently, well, this is the new... But the thing is, like, you know... As as she was saying, like you like know. the rap the rap before. Sorry to go a bit off track, but like we go off on ten million tangents on the show. Okay, <laughs> so like rap before was like you you listen to the struggle, you listen to the person's life, you listen mm. to what they've been through, and that that kind of uh, you know that makes you resonate with oh oh shit this guy mm. went through something what I went through. Yeah, you know be, now it's like all like showing off their novelties and the stuff that they own. So what. What is the thing that you can relate with? Just a good beat? Fuck that. <laughs> you see what I'm dealing with, I agree. With you. Yeah. I agree. Dude, I, can't. I agree. I'm sorry. I... This is two against one, my friend. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't understand like the the mumble rap yeah. generation like, that has happened. I don't. Exactly. It, it's just I'm not the target audience. Is what yeah. I. Yeah. I, I I see, but I see people like Eminem. Yeah. Uh, uh, Logic. He's great. Oh yeah. Uh, people are actually he, telling stories. Yeah. They actually, have something to say, something to talk about. Not, not like I've oh, yeah, got yeah. fifteen cars. Like, cause I don't care. I've got one car. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I can't exactly. relate to that. You yeah. can't relate exactly. Yeah, our good friend. This Bundle, guy gets it. Yeah, our good friend Bundlehead here also is saying Gucci, Gucci stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so true though. You know. Man. By the way, guys, the guys in the comment, please, if you guys have any questions for Jay, please drop it at the comment oh, section. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure Jay would be more than happy to answer a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys Absolutely. have any m music related, or I mean, let's not. To go personal on the guy, but no, go personal. Ask me anything. <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> I am not single. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. So Jay, man, we talked about like how the band came up and you joined them and the band name and mm -hmm. all these things. Um, let's talk about the latest release you guys did, which is My Way Out. Which uh, after this segment, we're gonna be watching the video. So apparently, there's kind of like interesting stories there's two interesting stories behind the song which is one related to the song and one related to the video so do you want to shed some light on it before or you want to talk about the video part after watching the video i'm giving um, you options here. <laughs> yeah i mean you can go your way i won't i won't say too much about the video uh just what the best piece of the video is that that was not the plan for the video for that song there was a entirely different plan entirely different house this was like plan d um okay i remember driving out to this house uh, on the day of and i was like i i was just like i um i don't know what we're gonna do today i don't know um i don't know how like apparently we're gonna have a whole music video done at the end of the day and i have no idea we no one had any idea what we were doing so that was that was the best piece of it so that was like plan d and um turned out turned out great super grateful um, as for the meaning of the song, uh, the song is a very, very, uh, it, it means a lot to me. It, um, at the time that I was joining this band, it was, uh, it was, I was like at the tail end of like overcoming, um, and recovering from, uh, substance abuse addiction, uh, oh. something I've, I've, I've been, uh, battling with, I have, I have battled with for way too many years of my life so uh that's that's what this song means to me it's really weird talking about this i never i never really thought i would say anything wow, about no, it i but mean thank you for sharing i mean that's something so personal yep. to you so thank you for sharing that with us and i'm sure it's been a hard journey you know coming out of it and uh, also not just coming out of it but commendable that you yeah. put it out in the outlet of this release you know so i mean i, I really respect that a lot. I, I just want to hit like I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I, I'm happy. I'm happy that you see that. I I want to hit. Uh, I want. I want this to hit the people that need it. You know, that's that's what I, I want to do. I wrote uh, my favorite line of this song is uh, if there's a will, there's a way out. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that's probably one of my favorite lyrics that I, I've I've written. I can't believe nobody else got to that first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just I, I feel I, I just love that. That that's mm -hmm. that's, that's so much to me. That's so that's so loud and the. the responses that we've been getting for this song uh people talking about like this just hit hit them exactly exactly how i i was hoping just giving mm -hmm. that that essence of hope mm -hmm. yeah um and yeah that's been that's been really really cool to see really really cool to see that's that's my purpose that's what i'm that's what i'm here to do 
Yeah. I mean, hopefully That's, this would be that I mean, kudos, start yeah. and uh, ignition to, you know, many more, many more to yeah. come along, man. And uh, I hope everyone gets the message out of this that, you know, addiction is a shit thing to do. Yeah. And, you know, it, it destroys a lot of things, you know, it destroys the human being itself. So forget about all the yeah. uh, things around so you, imagine, your money, your house and shit. Yeah. You're going to get destroyed. Yeah. And then it, like that, that on the other flip side, like uh, writing about it and yeah. then putting up music and then letting people know. And uh, it's such a positive outlet, you know, so I'm, I'm I mean, really as an artist, happy. because, you know, we are just a bunch of artists here. Like, you mm. know, uh, this is the only way out we can convey the message through something that can you know stay longer than us oh yeah oh yeah after us you know yeah it's a sort of immortalized yeah yeah and i 100 percent. so love so jay what you think man let's jump in and watch the video let's do it i I'm, cannot wait to, to before we jump into the video oh. sorry dude sorry but there was a comment of mind of w. w hey man what's up thank you very much for joining us thank you and welcome to the stream uh, he's saying or she's saying i don't want to assume no, no, genders okay, here. No, 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 no. but before that hi bob said i oh, know sorry. the song has to mean so much to so many people that also struggle exactly yeah exactly and mind of yes. uh, mind of w saying true words I'm loving the stream. Keep it up. Thank you very much, man. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. I'm bleeding and Abzis, welcome you guys. Abzis, if you redeem hydrate and my Absie, bladder please. is about to burst, I will kill Jay, you. By the way, guys, say hi to our guest Jay. Uh, he's a vocalist of a band called Younger, which we're going to be watching their newest release video, uh, like you know, shortly. Abzi and these guys bleeding, they're all like you know, streamers of Twitch. And Abzi over here. He made us chug like two balls of water, almost two balls because of water. Our, yeah, so last stream. <laughs> because what they're doing on Twitch here is they spend points <laughs> and they redeem the points for uh, like things like hydrate or like stretch. And yeah, like, like you can put anything. Yeah. Yeah. So we just put dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hydrate. Bondelet has fourteen thousand points. You guys, if you make me go to the washroom in the middle of the stream, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Whoever does it next, <gasps> we should Duh. we should all just like chug as much water as we can. Dude, believe I me, do. you think but in you the middle of the stream is like you know <laughs> awkward. But I, I mean, anyway, we're Very. here. We're here to entertain you know this community mm -hmm. and. By the way, thanks a lot for the. Thank you very much for the newcomers and the new followers. That means a lot to us that you guys are supporting this channel. I know. And thank you, thank um, you. for now, why we don't go and listen to My Way Out yes, from the band Younger, which is their latest release. Check it out, guys.
Yo, Jay. Oh my God. Walk us through the whole thing. video thing. I mean, okay, wait, before you start, you saw the video? <laughs> yeah. It's dope as hell. Dude, my first question, my because my mind is like so curious about it, is it done in one shot? That is, that is a one shot. See? That was the most fun, of, that was the most fun like piece of that is uh, uh, collaborating with, with, the, with Jesse, uh, he's SB Films out here. He, um, he just like, he walks into this house, no one's ever seen it before. He just walked mm. through all the rooms and he's like, Yep, got it. All right, and then he like told us what we're gonna do. Um, besides, besides the, the the pool thing, that was mm -hmm. uh, that that was my big mouth. I told Jeremy, our uh, one of the guitarists, I was like, how much how much would you uh, how much for you to jump in that that cold pool? It was like it was winter. <laughs> it was uh, it was like thirty degrees outside. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesse saw the pool and he was just like, you're gonna do it, and I was like, awesome, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Rad. That's oh God. cool. It's so cold. Um, sorry, I don't know if I answered your question. There's so much to talk about that video. Like, I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, take it the way you want. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, first of all, I c I'm so happy that it's done in one shot because it's it shows the. It, it's not easy, by the way, to do that. It's not easy because everything has to flow in one motion and everything That's has why to be I was ready asking, for the, why the next guitars, shot. I was like, why always the guitar says it's in the next scene? <laughs> <laughs> that is so brilliant, though. I, I love these kind of videos that are, uh, you know, not easy to make. Yeah. Because it shows that... It has that flow. Like yeah. it's, I mean, sorry, we're... we're because we're such fanboys when it comes to shit like this when we dig it yeah. we need to talk and you know say our opinion about it no and also but, like he knows me i'm very like um not i can't say critical but no, i i will i will always cons uh, like pick out the things that no people don't normally see or mm. won't normally mm. ask the artists about so yeah. that's why sometimes I'm like, uh, you know, putting the people at the spot or ask weird questions. <laughs> but this is, you know, because I notice. So, uh, yeah. but, but I, I mean, I'm kudos to him that he pulled that off and it came out so fl like flawless and fluid, you know, so uh, I love it. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's Thank great. you so much. I mean, if you have any, if you have any notes or any, any, uh, anything you notice, I, I'm all ears would love to hear it. Um, I visually mean, and, and audio I mean audio for wise. audio wise it's cl it's crystal audio, uh, it's so nice don't even go there man. like the he was telling thing. while you were while the video was going on he's telling me he loves the melody dude so, I fucking mm. love it I mean dude I, I it's not only us I will read you a couple of the comments yeah these are coming from guys that they're into like heavy ass music we're oh, talking yeah. death metal and brutal <laughs> death metal and stuff like this yeah I do not fit in here <laughs> <laughs> no 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 these guys are you know uh, fucking cool dudes as well again they are streamers as well Bleeding and Zenesis 13 Zenesis oh, is saying thank you guys for uh, Zenesis is saying yo this is some proper shit good stuff and even Bleeding is like commenting on all that stuff and mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, Mind of uh, Mind of W saying perfection and nice place to T Philly saying it's oh, a nice yes. place oh yes oh yes the house is and bundle it was saying imagine while jumping in the pool the cameraman says fucking forgot to hit the record <laughs> button <laughs> oh my god imagine if that happened yeah. that was i mean that was a one that was we had one chance for that like yeah that I, I yeah i was not gonna yeah not gonna just go dry off and start over mm -hmm. no it was a one one yeah no that's funny thank you guys so much for the comments yeah. i've been on uh, no, I've been I, I've been reading them. I'm I got my phone right here, so uh, I, oh. I I appreciate that. Yeah, um, I mean they will right. always let let you uh, let the artist know or yeah. whoever we g bring on the guest what they. Hi Bob is saying five people and they killed it one shot. That's amazing. Exactly. See, I'm, that's what I mean because when I saw it, I was like, okay, this is not cut paste cut. It, it, it can't be that yeah. because it's so um, as I said, fluid into each scene. Yeah. So like you yeah. can't m make it in different uh, sections. So like there will be that feeling if it's cut and edited. Yeah. But dude. Oh, that's what I. I mean, that was my suggestion. He's like, uh, with the first music video we did with him, uh, the intro of it. Um, when we get there, it, it, you guys will see that. Like, no, it's not. It's not one shot like this, but just the intro. Um, he goes around me, and then the bands, the bands behind me. By mm -hmm. the time he gets around me. Um, oh, okay. And I was just like, well, why don't you just like cut and paste it, man? Like, I don't know. This seems like a lot of work. <laughs> and. It's it's a lot of work. It's like he's he's such a perfectionist. He would not he would not do that. So oh. yeah, this is 
There was, please, there was so many factors. No, but please let him know that this was... Uh, it's genius that they, he wants to do it because I know it's a little bit of a hard process for the band to set everything up and get in position and, you know, like get all the angles right and yeah. everything done and positions and stuff. It's it's kind of technical to do and it takes up a lot of time, but the uh, end result is amazing. If people notice it, I mean, it's, it's really... I good. mean, uh, videos such as My Way Out the dedication you can see it and the quality that mm. you guys are putting out oh, yes. already like oh, yes. it's not something that listen i'm here i'm gonna try this out i will see what is the feedback and then we we might you know adjust to it mm -hmm. no you guys went all out although like i know the backstory you know shit happened you got the shot with the with the pool and all these things and dude it's just a magnificent fucking video like mm -hmm. i'm telling you straight up like if i had a chance to do such a thing i would go like i would go ape shit i would be like what the fuck shall i do <laughs> like do you it. know do it i yep. i know you i know i I would love to see how your band would do that. That would be so sick. No. I'm gonna put that out there in, in your guys' universe. I can't wait to see your one-shot video, man. Do it. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. But for us, we always do things at like the last minute. <laughs> Find the director. Oh, so do we. This minute. was a very last minute. Like, I, oh yeah. I was like convinced. Like, should we cancel? Like, we have nothing. We're, are we gonna do another like just playthrough <laughs> in a random house? That doesn't seem right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, I like last minute. It's not always bad. Yeah. It's not always good, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you know what? This reminds me. There is a video of a band called Muse. They have one shot video as well. So, uh, like this, this is what it reminded me of. You know, um, because okay, yeah, back crazy. in the days, I used yeah, to listen I mean, to no, calmer Muse, stuff. Muse, Muse, Muse. Yeah. What you mean, calmer stuff? <laughs> Muse is heavy as fuck as well. If you want to talk that sense, yes, the, dude, that's mm. heavy. Yeah. We are That's not mumble rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay! So I see you already found a new friend, and you guys are teaming up. Yeah. So yeah, I, oh, yeah. I have someone oh, yeah, yeah, to support yeah. me in this now. Thank God. Everyone <laughs> in the chat is supporting you. Yep. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, all of you, for supporting. <laughs> by the way, T Philly is saying because T Philly. By the way, thank you. I completely zoned out on that. Thank you very much for the. Oh yeah, bits, thank man. you. Because by yeah. by the time he cheered it, we already went to the video. Yeah. So no, no, we've already it. been like you know engaged talking yeah, to Jay yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. But again, T Philly, thank you very much for thank the support, you. man. Thank you. Thank you. And Listen, saying, if I chuck that bottle, though, I am going to... No, Bits is different. It's not redeeming. T. Philly saying it was... He said, uh, it's okay, chill out. It was only 100 Bits. I know, man, but I mean... No, but it still day, means a lot support, to us, dude. You, know, you guys are... Yeah. And he's saying it was for the chest hair taking control of the stream. <laughs> So before the stream, he asked me, he's like, is it too much? I was like, listen, just be comfortable, okay? No one gives a shit. And then he brings it up. Why? Oh, just I, I didn't bring it up. T. Philly did. No, yeah, Thank I'm you very much for noticing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but Jay, man, okay. Like, I mean, your wife likes it. Just yeah, I mean, I'm fine, man. Yeah. Um, I'm too old for this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. But Jay, man. Oh yeah, young and hard. Um, I, actually, my drummer actually uh, once he got so pissed off at me. He's like, "Listen, you're just an overgrown human being with a fucking brain of a child. You're just an overgrown baby." <laughs> and the guy is like 26 years old, telling oh, me. Oh man. <laughs> I was like, oh, "You can't cool. fully be offended by that." It's oh like, no, well, man, dude. I, I told him wrong. that's actually cool <laughs> to be a kid. Yeah. But Jay, man, Absolutely. Jay. Uh, Regarding the video, how long it took you guys to do the whole thing? Was it like a five-hour uh, shit or...? To, to plan everything out, like, there was a lot of factors of uh, figuring out, like, we had... So there's, there's two, two drum sets, in, one in that oh, room, yeah. one yeah. in the kitchen, except they didn't bring two snares. So we're, we're going to oh. release this behind-the-scenes video, and the funniest thing about this is, like, <laughs> like I could just hear Jesse yelling, like, go! <laughs> like, right, like... It's it's it sounds ridiculous. Everything everything that's not everything that the camera is not capturing, we're all just running and sprinting and like oh, it's so God. funny. I it's like imagine. sprinting to go to jump on a table. Like that's so funny to me. It, it it's all so great. Um, I cannot yeah, wait yeah. to watch the behind yeah, the scenes now. The, dude, the BDS the chaos video. behind the camera. <laughs> oh my god, can't wait. I'm super grateful we had uh, another guy there. He like he caught all of it and like he caught. Um, yeah, well, I think we're, we're going to be putting that out this next week, but don't quote me on that. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know when it's up, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked about that. It sounds funny. 
so funny. Mm. The drums sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> like every, the, we had we like muted the cymbals. They they sound ridiculous. It all sounds so funny. <laughs> like I don't know, just everyone just just jumping into action when when the camera's on them, and just like going going like they like they never stopped. I love it. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see it. I mean, the pressure, yeah, though. <laughs> like yeah. because we kind of had this struggle with our bassist because he is that, you know, shy guy. He's good behind the recording booth and all this shit. You know, he's he's the mastermind behind like you know recording and producing shit for for our band. When it came to the video, oh, it was like, what well, what should I wear? How should I act? Where should I stand? But I mean, why I'm te- why I'm saying this is like when when I saw the video. Of my way out you guys are all like just having fun no one is camera shy yeah everyone like is if, just doing their shit yeah if anyone to see for first if anyone were to see it the first time they wouldn't think that you know they're probably like it's uh, your running first around time and, or like you know yeah, yeah there's and, a lot of things happening. and also to be in position at yeah. the right time and you know when the camera towards towards them and stuff the timing everything it's but the question is did you guys face any of these uh, things that someone was like oh i'm camera shy or some shit like this i did so we were running through it <laughs> no way and like, main guy. It, it's, the it's so stupid this happens when i record vocals too uh oh. everything was good like we ran through it i love the way that i like the deli- i i uh, presented it and he was like all right let's go i'm gonna uh let's i'm gonna roll now and so just knowing that he's actually that he's recording it and this is the one like i messed it up like eight times oh, i felt man. so oh. bad because like the uh, drummer and bassist, they had, they were running, uh, they went out the screen door, or, or the, the sliding door, and ran out, and then like jumped through the window. And like, so many times I walked into that second room, and like, they're just like, they're just like running, and like trying to get everything in place. And I'm like, guys, I, guys, guys, don't get comfortable. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to start <laughs> over. Oh and my God, we I were, can um, imagine. We were battling like, uh, uh, reflections, so we had to have all the windows open. There, there's that. Oh, that's really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see, uh, and the mirrors in the room also. Yeah. yeah, he he kept all of that in mind, as well as like telling us when to go. It was it was wild. Um, he, um, yeah. So like eight times, like everyone was getting like he wasn't getting frustrated, but like it's getting late. Um, mm-hmm. We knew that uh, they were very strict on this Airbnb. We got a we got a we got a fine for this, and we got eleven noise complaints from this too. Oh, yeah. So, um, so yeah. he's, he he gonna explain it because I didn't want to bring it up. Oh God! Um, you you I could take have, care. I could have said that better. Oh yeah, yeah. man! <laughs> so I'll I'll just say that uh, the we shot this in Davis, California, and um, the the uh, the residents of Davis, California are a bunch of weenies because we were so courteous. We were so courteous. The drums were only playing for like five seconds whenever whenever the camera was on him. On him, yeah. And like like somebody got so upset about this and like we didn't have our phones on us. Um, but oh, like okay. 11 noise complaints. And so like the guy who, uh, uh, the guy who, whose Airbnb it was, mm-hmm. when he got his phone after like I, um, I was like, uh, warming up, uh, he was just like, "I've got 22 missed calls from uh, from from the guy." And, like he was on the phone with him, and um, like I would never intend to just like uh, I don't know, be obnoxious in any way like this. Yeah. Like I, that was not the point. We were so courteous. You couldn't even hear the drums. I mm-hmm. don't know how we got 11 noise complaints, <laughs> but stay clear of um, Davis because if you if you just talk too loud, someone's gonna get. <laughs> Get it. Someone's gonna call the cops on you. Oh so did the God. cops come? Came down and stuff, or you? no, no, nothing at all. Like so, uh, we we told the guy that um, that like so we could start early. That um, it was like, oh hey, my family's coming in and like wanna <laughs> wanna start. We didn't tell him we were doing a music video. So mm-hmm. when when he's getting all these calls about uh, these drums and. Like oh, just loud music. Oh, so he didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He knew, and then he was just like, All right, "What are you guys doing? Like, I hear there's like music, and it's like, uh, oh, right, man. Well. so so the shit was going south, you know. Oh, it was and, going south. And Bundle and like, Singh must must have been a Karen in the hood, you know. Yeah. Exactly. And Murder <laughs> Base Singh. 
uh davis california more davis, like california more He's like in... more like karen <laughs> karen, karen town, town. <laughs> welcome to karen town california oh my god <laughs> are you offended because we are uh, that is so <laughs> insane though i know i mean dude it's it's was not... it too late though like because i noticed that when you were in uh jumping in the pool it was dark behind you so it was like it was like eight like it was getting late mm -hmm. um uh noise curfews at 10. right um, oh but you guys not had that shit. Okay. yeah we were we were good we were like like i'm like if we wanted to be like jerks about this we would have been we were mm -hmm. not we were so crazy like the drums like i can't i just can't express enough how how courteous we were of this um yeah it, it was getting um going back to the camera shy thing so we had to run through this eight times mm. uh, and he was gonna let me know he, he, he was gonna let me know obviously when I got downstairs, like if everything wasn't perfect and he didn't feel it a hundred percent, obviously he didn't want me to just be going back in the pool. Cause that was, that was the one thing, one, one time only. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so the later it got, the more I knew that uh, Davis was getting offended. And uh, like, I just was not, I, I was just getting so in my head about it like eight times. And like, I was the one that was messing it up. I will totally take responsibility for mm. that. Like, I just wasn't performing it well. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, we got to this point. He was just like, he's like, man, we, he, like, he was just like real with me. He's like, dude, we don't really have a lot of time. It's not like we can come back tomorrow. Yeah. And so, yeah, that just, that uh, kicked the camera shy out for a little bit, thank mm -hmm. thankfully. I thought when we got outside though, I thought he said stop. And I kept going <laughs> and like, I was just like, I, I looked at him and it was like, I mean, there's, I don't know. I really hope this is all good. I was supposed to stay underwater for like 10 seconds, but I immediately jumped back up. It was freezing. Oh. It was, it was, it was freezing water. Um, all right. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm rabbit trailing. I've, I forget what the original question was. You know, no, 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 it is. It <laughs> no, is. We, we were just we were going talking. through the conversation I mean, yeah. because we were just asking many questions in the middle because of the... Okay. Uh, By the way, yeah. this is what I meant. Yeah, see, this... now you understand what we meant before the stream. It's going to be just like a normal... You won't even remember yeah. where, where it started. <laughs> but basically, you're going to start, uh, you know, uh, start having a goldfish memory after this session. Oh yeah, it spreads from me Already basically because <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't remember shit. I mean, dude, it's it's great to know that it's awesome when a band has something to explain, you know, yeah, behind the scenes and all these funny things. Because yeah. when uh, you know, even with my uh, with with my band's uh, which called music video for our single, which is going to be dropping in a couple of weeks, I was wearing some socks that I bought them for like let's say a dollar here, and they're in font of Coca Cola, but it's written cocaine. I'm I'm so sorry. Where did you find socks for a dollar? Like, oh like, man, dude, just there, calm down. There are shit Dubai, ton of man. places here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just calm down. Okay. Yeah, right, if you ever visit, point. just let us know. We'll take you. <laughs> so my so these socks were like, uh, it was it's it's written on the sides, cocaine, but with the Coca Cola font. So the guy who was taking the you know behind the scenes, he's like, man, is your socks saying cocaine? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so he kept on like, <laughs> damn right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's like there's so much funny shit that you can you know talk about and exactly it, like it, through the rec yeah, recording that whole process journey, yeah. yeah the yeah. recording process the filming and everything and it's also i want to ask you like um when you like for example when you sit and write for like this band specifically and the song you told us like you know the story mm. behind it so how how do you go about like starting to write like do you normally have a, a process that you go through or mm. do you have like a, you know do you meditate or something or you know some artists go either like listen to some other artists before they start getting inspiration yeah or like how's your process of writing for this song then um i feel like it's 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 different i feel maybe i think my best uh where I work best is like just getting the full instrumental. Just um, like I, I play instruments, but I don't want to think about those. I want to focus on what I'm doing. I want to focus mm -hmm. on and on doing this the best that I can. So mm -hmm. when I get like just a finished instrumental, um, sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. This one I was I like I it was uh, the first one I played, and I was like, oh, this is the one, and like I had that melody. I had that mm -hmm. in my mind immediately when I heard it, and I was like yeah okay and i just kept just writing just writing all the words that came out i take voice memos um i record my own my vote my own vocals so yeah um 
also this uh, it, uh, sorry to cut you off but uh, because no he's mentioned that melody mm. the that that melody thing it reminded me of one republic a lot because the guy uses me, like stuff like this mm. so when i was listening i was like oh i because i remember all mm. the bands so of course because of my bullshit memory i couldn't remember but yeah now that he mentioned it it triggered back again i remembered one republic because mm. like it's no, no, that it has, level it has of, i mean because yeah, it just now so now good. you understand when he explained that he's from the r&b background yeah. you understand I get it. Where the influence is coming. And dude, believe me, with clean vocals and having, you know, uh, being exposed to different genres and different styles of singing and, you know, melodies and stuff like this, you can create some shit that it's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry to cut oh, you yeah. off. I mean, you can no uh, go continue your thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> you cut me off to say that this reminded you of... Uh, of uh, One Republic? <laughs> Goldfish. Goldfish brain. That was like out. That was gone. That was nowhere to be found. <laughs> One Republic. I was like, I was. I appreciated the compliment too. Wow. <laughs> that, is, that is concerning. Um, no, man. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it concerning? <laughs> Because I immediately forgot something that I was excited about, like that. That's, oh. oh. Yeah, it's on me. I, it's. <laughs> it's I, I was, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. You've you've made references to some really really like unique uh, groups and and artists that mm. I I have never got uh, compared to before, and I something I've something I I've noticed is. Um, um, when, uh, when other people say that I remind them of somebody, it's always somebody different. I've never got those ones. Mm. One, oh. one. That's so cool. Like especially for this style of music, like that's wild. Thank you yeah. so much. Because the way your vocal style is, it reminded me of all these artists that are, you know, using. Because, dude, you go to a really like high note, mm. and it's yeah. not possible for many many vocalists, you know. So to get to that level of singing with clarity yep. at on a high note is not easy so i'm really like um you know when i was listening i was like keeping notes and mm. now they're coming out because you know oh again. by the way she does this shit. yeah <laughs> she my, notes my memory shit is garbage is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so you were it talking about the sorry does it just pop up out of nowhere? At least yeah. your memory's garbage. Yeah, 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 okay, same. Yeah. I think now I need to give like a disclaimer before the show to the artists to that listen. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I need to put a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm going to cut you off and just say random shit because I'll remember it slowly, slowly. <laughs> but sorry. You should you put were... it in like the middle of the show though, just because like, hey, we forgot to put the disclaimer. Um, <laughs> we're going to forget stuff here. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> yeah, because dude. because I pride myself on saying on the show, everyone knows that all 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 the people in the chat know that I function on two brain cells. Yeah. So mm. yeah, that's that's all I have. So <laughs> you can imagine what it must the, take. Do you know why, Jay? Because like we have sessions that it's only me and her, yeah. and it's dedicated mm. to the community. That we we sit down, we read all the comments, we just engage with the with the community. Yeah. So we go throughout a lot of topics. Like we start with me and her mostly me ranting about the day like i had a shitty day slow day because the guys know me i'm, I'm always ranting yeah so then she goes on a tiny rant yeah and then i'll remember People join. <laughs> yeah exactly so while mid conversation i will remember something so he's like listen finish your thought because you're gonna forget and you're not gonna remember it for the rest of the night <laughs> so yeah so but we yeah. talk about food and like we jump between topics and someone mentions something and we start talking yeah. about that so it's very back and forth that's why i mentioned those 10 million tangents but yeah. sorry you were talking about the writing process i don't want to uh, yeah you know. if you were like yeah <laughs> <laughs> I could. I want to respond to all that, but I. I want to get like. I don't want to keep it further uh, getting us off track. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna respond to that. It's funny that you say that because that was um that was me last night. Uh, uh, my girlfriend and I. We were just talking about nothing. Nothing important at, at <laughs> like two, three in the morning. I was just like, I need to be asleep, <laughs> and like I'm just like, hey, what do you think? Uh, what do you think Tom Brady's up to right now? Like what a <laughs> something stupid, just very stupid things that are just like why? Yeah. Why is this what I'm thinking about? Yeah. Yeah. But back to the writing process. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't know uh, what, where, where did I leave. No, no, she she was asking <laughs> you if you like. Do you have any like kind of like uh, process for writing? Process? Do you like, like meditate yeah. or you oh. listen to a different yeah, like, type of music to get inspired, or you go on a like you know on a drive or go to the beach or some some stuff like this yeah. that inspires you to write uh, music for younger mm-hmm. or uh, and this uh, or like, in and, general and, like writing as well. Yeah, like you know. Um, I I love writing like while playing the piano I love I love doing that just like really stripped down mm-hmm. um, and then adapting it from there there's been like Gemini that was a song that like that was a very stripped down song just really slow really boring mm-hmm. but that's like that's where it started and somehow it's a rock song um, yeah it's I feel like it's different with each song um, uh, like I said it's, sometimes it's 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 like quick and it's just like there mm-hmm. and I'm just like writing the words as they come to my mind. Excuse me. And other times it's not like that and I really have to like put some effort in like it like just really really like sit there with it and I've tried to try a bunch of different methods cuz I I don't know if you guys have heard the podcast uh Song Exploder. They they like break down um these massive songs and um okay so i just hear how to look i am so intrigued i will definitely go uh, look up they're on youtube or like specific platform platform or something it's on netflix there's like All a right. season of it like okay yeah. noise. okay that's that's great noise gonna binge it's it. really cool they like break it down to like like the recorded session of uh, and, and just how they wrote things uh, and mm-hmm. it's, it's cool when like a song that i really like pops up on there and right. i just hear how this how how artists other artists write everyone's mm. process is so different yeah um because i can't listen to other i've tried listening to uh, songs of the same genre for motivation that just made me write that same song like i yep. th- that has happened so many times i um i have yeah that is just so bad just a waste of time and then um listening to other styles of music mm-hmm. i don't know i i like it's, it's really really different each song there's never been one specific way I, mm. i just this one was one of the the ones i felt uh came came with the most ease to a degree like i think i wrote that in like 15 minutes oh and nice wow um, i added pieces i added a piece to it and i changed a couple of the melodies mm-hmm. as time went but um yeah for the most part like that was the original thing that i wrote and like this that was my audition that was what i was sending to the band like okay. like let let me uh i was i bugged them too i was just like what do you guys think am i in the band can i be in the band like did you like that song am i in the band now like, did you see what band. i did there do you like that part <laughs> oh. so grateful it all worked out so i wasn't just oh, annoying yeah. for yeah. no reason you know Oh, yes. but yeah for sure i mean uh, talking about uh, getting in the mindset i remember for my single you remember i was i knew the uh, minute he said that he's going to mention this <laughs> oh lord here we I go. go i was i was like really like lingering on the last ending bit of the song there's like it there is a fast paced type of a drum line that my drummer plays and it's like uh and i i like i didn't want to do like that whole boring just type of reading type of a vocal because the song is like kind of around that style and i was just sorry if i'm mentioning this i was taking a dump you know oh, okay sweet <laughs> so i was on a zoom call with her i'm like i was just like i was just like oh yeah by the way i found the rhythm that i want so i start writing on that it's like he has a point shit comes to you in random areas like you know? yeah <laughs> with me is just Anywhere. Also also he shockingly and surprisingly although it is like alternative and almost like new metal you know with his band he goes to mumble rap and random artists that I don't even understand what the hell they're saying and Cuz they're mumbling. Yeah, exactly. And he he goes and gets inspiration from these genres. I'm like what is wrong with you? Dude, I always That's wild. But he comes up with the most like hardcore shit. Like I don't know how. How does that work? <laughs> But again, like there's right. a breakdown in one of the songs he performed, and it, it came out of you know just in, in inspiration from these things. But it works out with that yeah. that breakdown. And I was so surprised when he performed it, and I'm like, why does no, this work? No, the thing work? is, like you I remember, even it. Jay mentioned it, and I mentioned this to you before. Yeah. If you listen to the same type of music that you're gonna end up making, you're just gonna end up making the same thing. It's going to sound similar. It's going to sound around the same concept. Yeah. Like for me, I don't listen to the same shit because I'm going to end up doing that, but you know, I go mm. like 
last couple of weeks I've been in a whole death metal I'm so happy thing. like I, I just tell her like like you know so play happy. Nile Cannibal Corpse Six Feet Under oh, yeah. I'm like you know backing, going back into my old hardcore self nice you know? and Behemoth I was so happy yeah, like, uh, he was finally playing metal in the house other, uh, instead of Offset and Migos and I don't know who the <laughs> fuck oh Migos Oh yeah. I can't stand it. I can't either, dude. Imagine <laughs> living in the house and hearing him while you, uh, like I am into like really like deathcore and like that de- like him. Like what what he likes as well in metal I've, genre. I've reached to that point, Jay. But dude, no, 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 when no, no, he no, listens no, to no, that. No, 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 no. Like what? <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. all the songs dude, that have you seen, Amigos did. Have you seen that interview of Snoop Dogg where he says that all of them they sound alike? Dude, go to you after this. Just go to YouTube and see how they make how he makes fun of them, uh, because then he's like duh, 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 duh. that's the same thing that they do. T Philly sing. Anyone know? else reckon Dirty listens to Barbie Girl when he's not rocking, <laughs> rocking out? Dude, I would listen. listen. To, I would listen to Barbie Girl right now, man. I fucking love that song. He already has and he does. Okay. Oh, um, dude, you should yeah, see. Interesting style of music. Man, Jay, interesting Jay, Jay, the yep. thing is, like, why? Okay, going back to mumba rap or that genre of rap, I really appreciate the production. It's so pristine, and the I know even a friend of ours on the on the show. He said, "Okay, go thank the producer, not the artist." You know? Yeah, but, exactly. You know, that's why I like to listen to those. But the beats artist because is doing I, nothing. Anyway, they just it, come in the background. They're like, "Skirt." That's it. <laughs> Like, whoop. <laughs> they're like that's their that's their yeah. some of these some, some of these gentlemen can't not mumble rap on time and i know you can fix that post-production but somebody's everybody drops the ball and they're just like i love off time rapping i mean who doesn't mm. like why would you why would you want that cadence Sweet. on time I can't stand that. No, but the, the thing is, me like, too. I've reached to that point. I mean, listening to all these different genres, because it's still my go back to genre or music is prog. I'm a huge Tool mm. fan. I'm a huge oh, yeah. prog fan. Like, you know, I like those nice. off off time shit. Oh, yeah. So the thing is, like, for me, I like I to listen go. to different shit because at the end of the day, you're a musician. You need to look at... I'm, I'm sure, Jay, I mean, okay, now you're thinking about it, like, you know, this way. But I will guarantee you there will be a time in your life that you will look at every music and you will appreciate this shit. That, you know, the hard work behind it, no matter what it is, it can be fucking traditional music, it can be, again, mumble rap, or it can be folk or Viking music. At the end of the day, it's that whole initiative that the person took to put this thing into the world for everyone to enjoy. I'm I struggle a, to find listen, that with specifically uh, mumble rap. Like yeah. I, I, everything yeah. else, I can appreciate the musicianship behind so many things yeah. in the production. Like you're saying like, it so politely, I just tell him shut the fuck up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you obviously know him better than I. I'm not yeah. going to say that. Um, I mean, okay, so you should school me. You should send me some 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 links to your favorite mm-hmm. mumble rap songs, and I'll I'll give them like. I'll give them a go because what I've heard, <laughs> I I'm not a huge fan of. And I listen, I listen to uh, artists that like have just really anything to say. They could be yeah. telling me that they they're out of milk. Yeah. That's still more than these mumble rappers are saying. That's such a good point. Exactly. <laughs> but they've got Gucci everything. They've got yes. Gucci. Apparently, they're walking. And Versace. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, the Versace song, <laughs> dude. We were we were uh, we were here in our uh, like one of the biggest malls in this region, which is called Dubai Mall, and we we were passing by the Versace brand, you know, the shop, and I immediately Migos has a song called Versace, so I just look at it like Versace, 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 Versace. <laughs> Like, just keep on saying it, you know. Pray for me, guys. <laughs> just That's pray ridiculous. for me. They're just like they're just saying what they're looking at, like. Yeah. Hey. True. Light they, bulb. Light bulb. Dude. Dude. Light bulb. Light bulb. <laughs> hey Jay. Yeah. They walk it like they talk it, okay? Walk it oh, like yes. I talk it. <laughs> walk it. That's half the song right there. They just exactly. like walk it like I talk it. <laughs> well, and then they just like have their ad libs, uh, which yeah. is odd. I yeah. don't. I don't. I don't understand it. Like. To I each feel its like own. The, <laughs> and, and to each own. I've talked a lot of shit about this. Um, listen, so listen. He as, has. The, we can just say, say that we appreciate his opinion and let that be there. You know, just say that. Okay, you are entitled to your opinion, and now yeah, that's that, it. That, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen to all the mumble rap you want, big man. Get it out of your system. <laughs> 
do it enough for, for all of us. Yeah. Was, <laughs> bundle it is saying headphones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Even even bundle it is saying, but but mumble mumbling isn't music. And T Philly is saying, point, yep. oh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm into metal, but also totally random stuff. But like, uh, scouse. Scouse happy hardcore. I can't, can't appreciate. appreciate. What is scouse what hardcore? What the fuck is scouse happy hardcore? Dude. Oh, I've heard listen, of that. That's like, that's odd. Listen, guys, nothing is worse than Clowncore. Okay? He made oh, me... S- what? Dude. She, she I don't think it's good music. I wouldn't listen to it dude, like, like... It's casually. insane, yeah? Dude, it's, it's crazy. It. The musicianship. <laughs> he was just like... Dun, 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 and they're in the porta potty Forget my music video. That's the one. <laughs> Dude, that's the way. Dude, the, the, you know the moment he goes on the. I was the, like, what is happening? Dude, you know the moment video. he goes on the synthesizers and and he's like drumming and I'm like, what the fuck is? <laughs> <laughs> it's too much to take, even for like your all auditory sense. It's too much. She it's was. Too much. I showed her the video. She's like, what am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> it was so like weird. It was first of all it's really, really short. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Composition wise, it is like having a lot of facets and they ha- are using a lot of instruments yeah. and they are talented i can see that but oh dude my God. the video is They're so like, absurd the one in the van the other one the one that they crash into the light and pole dildo and the comes dildo up. comes at their face i'm like what is happening what is this <laughs> this is like solid marketing like i'm definitely taking notes i feel oh like God. it's it's, uh, it's intriguing i mean you remember it yeah, that's. I'll give them that. Dude, I'll give them that. Yeah. The, they take you on like a roller coaster of genres. They start like you know yeah. with electronic, then sax, then like hip hop, then they go to jazz, then like grindcore, even even bundled singing. Yeah, they're like, singing. Screaming, yeah, like, they're like a, yeah, a yeah, it, and and then it goes into a mellow part where yeah, it's just like, like jazzy, and smooth and jazz, like, and then like I'm you know like, what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hard to keep up. It's beautiful. <laughs> and no, it's it's by the way, just FYI, he showed it. He showed it to me probably three or two o'clock in the morning. Okay, in the AM, nice. and I was like <laughs> gone from my brain. And he shows me that. Even even what Bundle the, is saying, yeah. I love Clowncore. If the world fell through a wormhole, and if you were at the other end of it, those guys would be entertaining you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. But that, dude, it's, it's. I mean, dude, it's again. Weird. Back to the point. That's the whole. That's why they say music is a universal language. At the end of the day, we will find that tiny hook to get connected together and understand each other when it comes to you know art, being an artist, because we have that platform that we can talk mm-hmm. about. And Murder Brace is saying that reminds me of Igor. Uh, Igor, that shit is weird. Wait, I need to check this what out. If I Murder know, Base is saying something is weird, that means it's really fucking weird because he's, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's he's you your know, area. It's, car, it's, car and effects and all. Yeah, these, exactly. Uh, you know the. Oh no, ba- Igor, is that like? Uh, I need Tyler to check the that out. Album? Sorry, what did you, what did you say? He's not talking about Tyler the Creator's album, right? Uh, Mister no, the Murder Base. Are like, you are you mentioning an artist yeah, or is I it? Think, Wait, uh, yeah, Tyler, the creator. I think he had his album was called Igor. I mean, Do you know which band I don't understand? Lordy. No, it's an artist. Yeah. Jesus. <gasps> Do you know Lordy? Look at their Al- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> what are these guys? This Igor or whatever? It's a band. <laughs> what type of music what they the play? What the fuck? <laughs> they, they play like... Um, I don't know. Just the music that you want to hear or don't want to hear. Put all together. Uh, is once. it like something yeah. like? Is, is it something like Die uh, Die Antwood? Do Die Antwood? Oh, is, that's odd. What is, man? That is like, one of the weirdest. I, I, the artists only song ever. I just like is like, uh, I think I like you. What? I think I like you and I like you a lot. Oh There's yeah. Something that one. Yeah, that yeah. one is nice. I think you're cute and I like you a lot. Something, it, but it has a lot of Sounds like good. cringy feel to it. Like, dude, it's too everything weird. About it. It's creepy yeah. for no reason. Ooh, what about Elon Musk's uh, fiance wife? I don't know where they're at. Uh, what's her name? Um, she makes Elon. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She. Um, no one can be more weirder than Yoko, man. <laughs> oh, Have well, you, you know. I would put Clowncore right up next to Yoko. Like, no, dude, come on, man. No way, man. No way. Man. <laughs> like, 
No, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. That was rude. Yoko is so way sorry, weirder, Tom. man. It's like, what the fuck are you on? Who told you you can do this shit? So I have never listened to her. Yoko I still is the uh, wife of I know, John I know, Lennon. I know. I still have Dude, to listen to her. Her, her cover what? of some song, I don't know which song was it. She's just like la, 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 doing this, and I'm like. Maybe is it like a traditional way of singing? Though? No, because she's I don't want to disrespect out. it. Or she's something. just out. Ah, okay, gone. okay. All right. <laughs> Murder Bass is saying this it's uh, uh, he he com he combines a variety of desperate genres, including black metal, baroque, what baroque, me baroque music, baroque music, breakcore, breakcore, and trap hop into a singular sound. This is from Wikipedia. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> what wow. the. F What kind of combination is that? We can give it a try. I've, I've, I mean, apparently. Not I'm, this time of the hour, please. Yeah. No, not like past right. midnight. Don't do that. Okay, it's gonna fuck me up. Tomorrow. What? What? Go <laughs> ahead, Jay. Grimes. You heard of that artist? Uh, I was uh, Elon Musk. Oh. Uh, Wait. The the, the name is up. very. Gosh darn it. Oh shit. The She's name on. is very very. I mean, dude. For me, you know where the shit stops. That I say I can't take it anymore. Hmm. Like Ariana Grande, fucking uh, who's mm -hmm. that other What? stupid Why? chick, Whoa. Miley Cyrus? What? But she has pipes on her, dude. What are you talking about? Fuck that. The song. She can just, do whistle notes, dude. I don't care. It's just annoying music. Uh, see, She's I respect a, her for the artist. Singer. Yeah, exactly. Forget about the singing. I'm talking about the music. It's just annoying. It's like absolute annoying. Like. I can just handle like 15 seconds. I can't I'm do it anymore. Song. I disagree with song. him because Dude, see. like from the top 40 type of shit, I'll tell you who I fucking respect. Respect, like legitly respect is Ed Sheeran, Adele. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, like, you know, there's Adele, there's, there's like, okay, I can put One Republic into the mix. Imagine Whoa, Dragons, imagine Dragons kind of. Not too much. I, I still despise. Hated them. I hate them. I was about to com continue my sentence. I hate <laughs> them, but they put this their. This is news to me. They're they're like you know you they do their some. Songs. No, but no? surprisingly, surprisingly, when you hear it on the you know on the. Like, you yeah, know, it triggers the, the memory back, bank. Yeah. You actually know the lyrics and you know the rhythm. Like you know, that's 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 yeah, you know their songs. Yeah, and I agree with Tifa Lee. He's saying her songs are trash, but you can appreciate she can sing exactly. You know? Since when all these metalheads listen to fucking Ariana Grande? Dude, it's so commercialized though. It's on the Shame radio all on the you time. Guys. Shame on you guys. Excuse me? Metalheads. Don't come up against my guys, okay? Don't, oh, don't so, like... so the whole the whole community yeah. is against me tonight. <laughs> yeah, don't say Everybody. shit. Oh, man. You know, but... Um, I mean, like, Doris Jay, for you, uh, which kind of... Like, since you come from the, you know, the beginning of R&B and then now with rock... Which do you feel is easier for you to blend into or like find more creativity in? Um, I feel like I have a lot of a lot more ease with R and B, just like an alternative mm -hmm. R and B, because it's like definitely um, doesn't need to be stuck to a genre, and I can kind of do whatever I want. Um, right. So I just I I've been I just adapt that to a rock track. I just gotta gotta make it maybe not as. Um, not as just melismatic i'm not sure mm -hmm. um yeah r&b has always been like that's those songs always come to me a lot like easier than rock rock does rock's like it is a hard genre for me to write honestly but is, is it challenging in a way that like um I'm, i'm happy that i've written things that people enjoy that's cool yeah um so it's just like it's just a cool challenge it's one it's one that i i enjoy doing mm-hmm But, I'm gonna uh, send you an Ariana Grande song, and you're gonna love it. And you're, you're Jay not still on that fucking train. I asked him I'm a question, so and he's Jay, still haunted Jay, by Jay, that. Get off the train, man. <laughs> he's still like, yeah. he doesn't like Ariana. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Look at the time. I <laughs> no, gotta no, no, go. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even T. Philly apparently. All, uh, everyone, it, he, he's saying Ed Sheeran with uh, with uh, Andrea Bocelli is one of my favorite songs. LOL. And uh, wait, we have an automat something. Wait, Streamlabs Bleeding just hosted. Oh, thank you very much, Bleeding, for, oh, for thank hosting you. the show. Thank You're you. the man, brother. You're That the man. That was awesome, dude. That's so sweet. And uh, Murder Base is saying, Bunnelet, uh, interdimensional the fuck, man. Especially when he sometimes uses 
Cycle, trans, jazz, and even Eastern folk music. We're still talking about Igor. Wow. This okay, is now, I experience. need to really, like, after the show, the first thing I'm I doing is. It's just going to be Di- Diane with metal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, they have oh the same God. looks fun. so I'm just gonna prepare my ears to be traumatized basically <laughs> Jay on that segue that you you know she asked you regarding R&B which one is easier for you to you know adapt in, into rock music um, so do you have any favorite bands like if you can you know drop three favorite bands that uh, they've been the pinnacle of your whole journey like you really look up to them uh, nothing but thieves Nothing by you know thieves. I heard this from I've uh, heard. Uh, from another uh, artist we had you, on the show. I think I think uh, uh, Seth mentioned Seth, yeah, that. Seth, yes, it, yeah. it triggered both of our memories yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you okay, guys check that out. Like, okay. he, his voice is like he, he's my like. I'd say he's probably my biggest idol for for like rock singing. He does a lot of. Uh, I, I definitely take a lot of inspiration. From him. Mm-hmm. Other bands. Uh, do you know the band Marianas Trench? No. Mm, no. no? That one I've been oh, continuously dude. let down by. Um, like their their albums have gotten progressively um, not my favorite, but oh, like okay. he he definitely like he had two albums that were just like concept albums. They were they were mm. crazy and it absolutely inspired me. Um, who else? Right. Who else? Uh, bands? Can I say artists? Yeah, yeah you can. You can say yeah. anything. You're not gonna like me after this, but a big. Um, a, a big inspiration of mine is Justin Bieber, for sure. There is a funny story. I want to know why. First of all, answer he's her why. Voice. He's got a fantastic voice, and he's, like, genuinely talented. Um, like, <laughs> currently speaking, I can't, I, I, I don't, um, don't follow, like, uh, I don't like, like, his live performances, but, like, he's actually a talented musician. Yeah, apparently, sure. he's a good drummer as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's like just well-rounded with like instruments and singing is like his his voice is crazy. Like funny story last night, we were at the mall and I was telling her uh because they were playing baby baby and I was like, "Listen, I was telling her like his transition from young age to now, he really changed." Like yeah. I- I'm I'm not a huge ass supporter of Justin Bieber, but some of the shit he does, it's not bad. Like I don't mind listening to it once or twice. But like that Despacito shit and what was oh, the other it. one? That one, holy shit! I oh. wanted to fucking break my phone. <laughs> like you know, that song's impossible to sing. Like he never takes a break. He never stops singing and like. It's just I'm, I'm, high energy. It's like, how do you think you're going to do that, man? That chorus is just all singing. Yeah, performing it live would be hard for I mean, I, 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 like, I really admire his, you know, his grind when it comes to music. And I think he, would, he is already successful. It's just, you know, where else he can go from here. But mm-hmm. again, I mean, Justin Bieber being one of your influences, it's not a bad thing. But, uh, like, I've, I've, I've passed that judging stage of my uh, no 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 see I, I i don't judge either i will just like because i i accept i, I I'm, bleeding is unlike other Peter. <laughs> <laughs> unlike other like elitist metal heads i'm more like open-minded i'll be like okay listen i will listen to it i will give it a shot i will let you have your say and stuff yeah. and uh, if they propose a song i will actually listen and sit down and like mentally like properly listen yeah uh and give it a shot but yeah then in the end if i like it i like it if i don't i don't so yeah but i mean th- that's that's great choice like okay two of these artists uh I've, one of them i heard about them and uh, it was nothing by uh nothing but nothing thieves, but thieves. Yeah. yeah and the second one was mariana trench i think he said mariana, mariana trench, trench. Yeah. okay we will definitely look these yeah. these guys up. You know what? Why we don't go? Okay, can you tell us what other song you got? Uh, you want us to play by Younger? Oh, that was uh, so yeah. sudden. I was like, what's happening? No, no, no. Because it was a good segue. We can mm-hmm. like you know showcase one of their songs. So which one do you have in mind? Uh, Gemini. That's, Gemini. That's the only other, we've only released two songs that I'm on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So wanna, this is what happens when like someone before. this is what happens no. when someone doesn't do research. I didn't think that he joined the band later. Why are you giving me shit? 
Yeah. It's my duty I mean, as a wife. How do you not know this, man? I like, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Just... At least I opened my Spotify and I checked dude, it out. Dude, I, I even, I even forgot to have a coffee today, man. Oh, dude. oh, you poor oh. baby. Oh. Yeah. I had my coffee after lunch, so. <laughs> the moron. But uh, okay, so we're gonna be listening to Gemini. Gemini been released uh, 28 October 2021. Oh, nice. So uh, can you give us a like an introduction to the song? What is it about? Till we hit the video. Um, so I wrote this song acoustically uh, back in 2018, mm -hmm. and I, I was waiting for, to find a place for this hook to to um, I just find a home for it. Um, mm -hmm. And the like, I try. I, what can I say? There's like five versions that I have uh, I have done of this song myself, mm -hmm. and then like getting this instrumental. The instrumental was called Cardboard, and I was like, that's not very inspiring. I wasn't yeah. there for like their writing. I know they like wrote it on on a piece of cardboard, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. Then it was just like the uh, um, <laughs> this is super random, but the 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 line in it, um, "You're a Gemini, you got a wild side." I heard that from um, my girlfriend's uh, lady that does her dreads. Like, doesn't oh. she like? Oh yeah. She said she's like. She was talking about, she was just talking and she was just like, yeah, he's a Gemini. He's got a wild side. And I was like, <laughs> by the way, I love your girlfriend's hair. It looks, it's jet red, by the way. It's so cool. It's crazy. It's yeah. So you crazy. already saw her? I, I, Be, like listen, it. because I do, re I, as I told you, I do research. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want to see if there's any other additional hobbies or something I can ask him about. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through his page as usually I do for all artists. Thank Nothing you. new. Thank you for doing your job. <laughs> Doing your job. Yeah, I. <laughs> that's why you married me to take care of as my. As long as one of you guys do it, I feel like you'll be okay, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And okay, yeah. before like okay, before we go to uh, see the Gemini music video, Murder Base said I actually vibe with Post Malone, dude. I fucking love. Okay, Post so Malone. I never liked Post Malone before, but because of him, I like him now because of the way he has just. I don't know. The songs are very transy. I don't know why. Jay, she it's, jams the song "Wow" like more than five times. I, it, it's it's so different. I don't think I've heard that song by Post Malone. Yep. Yeah. It's, it released it's, in 2019. I, I never liked him before, dude. I, I'm surprised dude. at myself. My own Post ears Malone are betraying me. Post Malone is great, me, but, man. Post yeah. Malone is great. He tried out for uh, Crown the Empire. Um, did you know that? I think he yeah. was the guitarist or something. Yeah, he he, no, like, he tried out for it, but his uh, his strings broke or something. Mm. Like he did not make make yeah. it into oh, the band. No. He's a yeah. he is a he is a proper metalhead. Like proper metalhead. You head. told me. Yeah. Th that's why I'm surprised you, that he's know, making you know, this kind of music. Do you know Do you know Jared Dines? Yeah, of he course. actually yeah. like you know he chills with him and they jam to like deathcore oh, yeah. and Jer shit like Jared that. Dines. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. He's also performed with Breaking Benjamin. Yep. Ooh. Breaking Benjamin. That's oh, a fun dude. one. Oh, dude. That oh yeah, band. she's a huge breaking I, Benjamin. I fan. will be, you know, the minute I play that band, he'll be like, "Listen, I have very bad memories of the yeah. band. Don't play it in the house." So I have to. No, because she played it once. I was driving and I started fucking crying, because you know, I, I used to listen to that band like when I was, you know, and so going dark through some places. shit. So it triggered a memory, yeah, yeah. like as yeah. usual. So, yeah. but I love Breaking <laughs> Benjamin. It's, yeah. it's it's in my heart. They're so good. Oh, uh, yeah. The place I was working last year, uh, one of the reps that I had, she was dating the drummer of oh. Breaking Benjamin. Wow. That's and I was good. like, what? She like sent me all of these crazy pictures, and I was like, you should show them. Um, you should show them. You should show them my band. <laughs> and like, I never heard. I know she did show them. I just, I never heard like if they liked it or not. I'm assuming they didn't. But <laughs> no, man, believe me. But like, maybe these sometimes. guys, they're, they're just busy, man. Yeah, and they also, get a lot of these things during the yeah, day. Yeah, and also they get uh, they leave these things to the managers or yeah. the other and, people and they who just handle push it back. Yeah, they just yeah. push it back. Exactly. I mean, imagine so, how many people must be like uh, requesting them to listen yeah. to their music, you know? So imagine like, how many people are texting them on like DMing them on their IG. Oh, yeah, or, and like, tagging them in different shit. Yeah. Exactly. But you know, hopefully that happened for yeah, younger dude, I mean, soon. See, because so. you guys are having that unique way of presenting your music, mm. they, that unique sound. Like I'm gonna tell you something after Gemini when we listen, and then then I'll tell you the my f like my following point. So But yeah, l let's hit it, guys. We're gonna be listening to one of their other songs, mm. Gemini. 
This is the official music video from Younger, so let's give it a let's listen. Go. what i felt this can be a soundtrack you mean for yeah, for, for a movie. yeah for like you a mean a background movie. score yeah. Yeah. it has that potential yeah and also like uh, that's the second point i was going to say like one is the way they pre present their music yeah. and secondly they make songs like this like you're gonna be randomly hanging around your house after listening to it and be like you know yeah, it will get you stuck in your head yeah exactly yeah. exactly like, like it will, like like it my will, way out that like, hey, hey. yeah it's like all in just here it, you know that, <laughs> <not> that, <laughs> <laughs> that 
quality of being able to haunt your yeah. listeners is is the thing that will you know it, i mean that's what i dude, i found myself doing dude this is so, a great fucking track it's man. really catchy yeah it's really fucking catchy yeah like Thank i so much. like the video and again the video again is top notch yep yeah. it's fucking great video great song and like the licks and the melodies you guys use is just like oh, yeah. perfect for you know for the stuff that is like thriving already yeah and it's great and impact it's, and yeah and it's also such a like a like a it's cool forever vibe. like yeah. it's, it's 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 something that when i'm in my happy mood i'll listen to yep. this like you yep. know like just doing stuff around it gives me that feel like if you're playing a game as well like you know you can have this as a you know for a backdrop game. you know mm. like a song or like you know in the it's really really fucking catchy so just like yeah. walk us Thanks. through with the whole thing man so this is based on your zodiac sign i if i no he he said yeah. he, he said that he heard uh, the person who was doing okay after repeat this the person who was do, doing his girlfriend's hair huh said that that oh you're a gemini you must be uh, like you have a wild side like like, like ah, you know okay. or wild okay, like okay, yeah okay, okay, okay. so that's where he got the inspiration for the song yeah even bundle is saying the i'm still damn, doing his job by the way even even bundle is saying damn the production is lit yeah it, dude it's super See? good and the quality it's, it's crisp good. yeah so just yeah tell us tell us about this track man and the video so this song's like about um uh it's just about like fake people um super super tired of fake people um and just like i don't know just being around like good genuine people is like oh okay cool i don't like i don't think i want to like allow that in my world anymore and and just like recognizing a bunch of people that are just like they're fake um that are that are just not being genuine and yeah. um yeah they just like wasted wasted too much time in my life mm-hmm. um that's what that's what i wrote that about um there's so uh, many of these guys in our lives man yeah we don't run out oh, of them yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly like i ha- i literally tolerate some people like this and i i really feel that uh you know that that kind of genuine energy of um, actually seeing substance as a mm. person mm. like seeing that they mm. have some kind of actual qualities and actual like uh, a story to who they are mm. so i i resonate with what he's saying yeah. like it it makes sense yeah 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 that's um it's unfortunately rare i feel like nowadays um just you know good people good genuine people and that's why i i love this band so much because all of them are just very kind, genuine, humble, mm-hmm. just wonderful people, wonderful people. Like That's even if awesome, I man. even if I wasn't working with them, like I would just have the most respect for them. They're they're definitely they they're definitely just like night and day from people I've worked with in the past. And right. um this whole process has kind of been like that, like just an eye-opening one of uh of of just this is what prof- this is how a professional experience is supposed to go. Uh, working exactly. with Bo, working yeah. with Chris Crummett on mastering, working with Jesse with this video, um, yeah. like it's it's really it's really great. I'm really really grateful for for this team and like yeah. So it was, this was another one of the of uh, the ones I did with Bo. Sent me the instrumental cardboard. I wrote it over it, um, and yeah yeah. It's, it, it here it is. Like I I love the. Uh, what do you think of the bridge? Dude, that whole like breakdownish type of bam bam that that was a great addition. Right? Yep. That was beautiful. I mean, for me all in all, I was just as she said, you know, the you know, the choruses and like the hooks. Yeah. Like for example, you're on a road trip and you're vocal like listening wise, to this, you're going to go ape shit just like you, you know, it's wise, a happy song. Man, it's, vocal I like wise, it. vocal wise, this is completely different yeah. than what you were doing in my way out. In my yeah. It's completely different. Like we can Is see, so? yes, it, you can see more variety. Mm. My way, it, it's mm. it's special. It's in, like you know, it, there in its own way. Mm. And this one, we can see a different, ver- like you know, Jay is showing what other type of variety of vocals I can do. Yeah, it is. It, yeah. It's, it is on the same line as in like you know Spectrum, you're working yeah. out with the you know you're working the melodies and the uh, which called the the whole harmonizing here and there also again like yeah but the, the way different the way high of notes uh, also. singing and mm-hmm. like putting the flow and stuff like this i felt it a bit more you know different in this one mm-hmm. i mean that's my that's personal the, point of view of it that's awesome like i i know that um with my way out i i um like i said that was my audition 
these guys listen to a lot more rock than I did. Like mm. when I was when I was wanting to work with them, I I had not listened to rock in a while. I was kind of burnt on it just just from just previous experiences mm. and. Um, so I was just like, this this got to be a rock song. Like I I I, I um, don't quite know how to like go into something and like this is gonna be a rock song. And so mm. getting to Gemini was like, um, I definitely this one took a little bit a little bit more time. The chorus was done, um, but then I I needed to figure out the verses and what am I talking about? And then the bridge I really had like no idea where where to begin with that. I was just like I love that. That's so unique. I don't know, like. Yeah. super sick that you guys came up with this like i wanted to just go with that and um not take away from it but yeah. just like just just be be with it and um yeah yeah this one this one's definitely a little bit different definitely a little bit different i love mm -hmm. uh I love harmonies i love stacks i love yep. love that there's like octaves of each harmony in there and like bo mix this like the god that he is <laughs> he is it's crazy Crazy. Shout out to and Bo, and I see and I feel that the songs that they're making have huge radio quality. Dude, I majorly, can picture like for example, majorly. if you guys were here, like I can picture like like Virgin yeah. Radio or like yeah. all these play, like like you guys would, can like, easily hit it. that top forty shit easily. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm I'm really not joking. Like like I, like I can picture them yeah. picking it up yeah. and uh, you know playing it every uh, like at the. This good spot. Yeah. But just one question. You said the band members were, you know, more into the whole rock genres and stuff. Just uh, well, like, what are the type of, uh, like, music styles that the band members have in the band that, you know, they put aside and they make this younger sound the way that it sounds? Hmm. Um, well, I'll start with saying, like, I know that I am... I am definitely took this into a different direction than everybody wanted initially like mm. i was i i definitely was not the i the, the goal i think like because they were more post hardcore more screaming more uh, mm. more like he had a previous singer had a really he had a higher voice than i did that, that was a downfall of mine i've got a, um, my voice is way lower than most like most uh, uh rock singers and like um yeah i just had to like work with that and mm -hmm. um so they, uh, Dylan, he's really inspired by Incubus and Ooh. movements. Love um, Incubus. Lord. So, so I never really listened to Incubus mm -hmm. until um, last year, I guess I could say. Um, not, I didn't have anything negative. I just didn't care because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And so he just like, he just keeps showing me dope <laughs> songs by them. And he's just like, I'm like, is this, of course it is. It's, uh, it's amazing. So he's, he's got that. They're all very inspired by like grunge um mm. something that i'm very unfamiliar with um and uh just and and uh julian our bassist he's um he's he works as a as a uh, agent with with dynamic uh, talent group and he he like books bands so he's very oh, very versed nice, in nice, nice, like nice. what's going on with rock mm -hmm. and i am not so like he's always showing me just things that like i don't know i i've have I really appreciate and I really enjoy mm -hmm. and like yeah I, I don't know if that answers your question yeah yeah it is, it is it is like it's it, dude it's good that you have mm -hmm. like you know band members with this background you know exactly it, it, it makes life easier the, the, yeah I couldn't say the word word this worst worst no versatility, versatility. Jesus Christ versatility, I hate yes. myself yeah Okay, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. it. Hate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, no, because just, sometimes we do this. I have like, fumbles you know, a lot. Yeah, like, we, we my brain knows the word. the word, but it doesn't know the word. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I hate that. Yeah. You hate yourself, though. <laughs> oh, that's okay. By the way, speaking of genres, in uh, like in future, would you ever consider making music in any other genres? Because you've now come from R and B, then going to rock, and then any other. Mm. Uh, do you have interest in any other genre to make music for? Like down the line, that you're gonna, yeah. you see yourself making that type of music. Yeah, I really want to start like a like a country trap, uh, like country trap. mumble rap, oh. like Eminem okay. inspired. Uh, Okay. 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 The whole <laughs> shitting train still going on. <laughs> no, see, no, I'm no, that gullible. I was actually falling for it. I'm like, wow. If you see my expressions, <laughs> the amount of expressions I gave in four seconds. <laughs> both of you guys, you both like really gave me the the time of day for a second. Thank you. Don't. I'm not going to do country. I, I cannot. I, I don't know how to sing like that. Um, 
I've sang over like I've done features on like EDM songs. Mm -hmm. um, I've done like <clears throat> I've screamed on a couple of songs. That's that's I, yeah. I don't know. I like I I don't I don't know. Like I'd love to do something like soul. That would be that mm. would be super fun. You know Teddy swims. Mm. No. You're asking no. the wrong guy. <laughs> I know, I know. Just a shot in the dark. We'll see. We'll, I'll, I'm gonna make a playlist that I'm gonna send you guys. Please and do, please, man. please. We do. would please. love. You should to do the same. To... Like, like, like. Well, keep me up to date on Mumble Rap and um, on on like the, on. I'm. I mean that. I mean that. I would like. <laughs> I want to see it through your lens. I'm not talking. Don't, shit don't pollute what? his ears with Mumble Rap, please. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, send him if you if you want. Oh, sure. Like, but but with me, I listen to a lot of like screaming and stuff. So uh, you know, basically, all... with her, when she started listening to her music, you need a Bible and holy water. That's it. <laughs> Why do you describe it like that? It's yeah, not that do, bad, do, dude. You listen to the same type too. Yeah, but mine is more rough and like raw. Yours is That's too modernized and like again, I I, I like I, I enjoy it because at the you end of the day it's like you know, driven you by enjoy, death metal. Yeah, anyway. you enjoy after the bar. You'll don't tell me yeah. anything. Yeah. Ooh, they're good. You guys like if, if you if you have time you should make a playlist of like your favorite like death metal songs or just like mm. well, anything from that length. So I that is um, that I am I'm not too. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's with. it's not anything that would be you know <laughs> uh, something related to what you're doing because it's a com like what but again you know for me now dude uh, I was a bassist then I took on vocals because a, a friend of mine wanted to put a Tool tribute band together here in Dubai and. We are like I very wish little. That yeah, we are like very couple of people here that they like Tool, so we made the Tool tribute band, and I picked it up because I my major, uh, like my one of like if not the only influence on my vocals is Maynard James Keenan from Tool, so mm -hmm. he's a like I picked it up and but I find myself way more open with clean vocals. And, uh, and he can pull it off, although he's, uh, you know, been through over the yeah, years. Yeah, I mean, but, but, but when it comes down to death metal, now I enjoy it. Back in the days, I wanted to do like, you know, all that shit, but... I wish I had married you then. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Ouch, just kidding, man. just kidding. No, That's, uh, dude, this is on daily basis. Dude, daily basis. Daily basis. I, I, daily basis. I need to talk to somebody. I'm here. Listen, like, dude, you're you're seeing him very toned down. Okay, he's worse than me. All right, all the all the people in the chat know that. Don't like, don't dude, don't have mercy dude, on him. Sometimes we're like, I, I you, it. dude. Sometimes he does. This is like. Uh, that's why I married him. Like, damn, yes, that's why you married me. <laughs> oh my oh, god. I got a question. Sorry, yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. How long have you guys been married? <laughs> wow, okay, again, guess. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say six years. Wow, we just got married in December of 2020. No way. Yeah. You guys are like super comfortable with each other and just seem oh, like. Dude, oh, yeah, dude. Thankful, Th thankful. This was This was the first fucking thing on the fucking paper. It's like, listen, I want to be your friend. I don't yeah. want to treat you as like that mm. traditional yeah, because wife I'm, and shit. Yeah, thing. exactly. Because I'm also Indian as well. So we have like, oh, treat your husband oh, yeah. like a god. Our, our backgrounds so, are super strict already. Yeah, like, so we, we're, we're trying to get away from it. Like, listen, exactly. I don't want to drag that shit into my house. So. Yeah. So we are uh, just like a bunch of goofballs. I, I told oh, him, yeah. listen, just uh, we're going to be as if we are like kindergarten friends. And that's it. Just we pull each other's leg. We say shit. But at the end of the day, we know, you know, so that's. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. But cool. damn, six years. To no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because we always. No, no, no. Yeah, Jay, because we always tell each other, like, yeah, you don't feel like, you know, like a stranger. I feel like I know you. <laughs> we probably did in a past life or yeah, some maybe. shit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably. But I was probably how long throwing... have you guys been together? Sorry? Uh, as in, like, dating? Get... Oh, yeah. We yeah. dated, like, for, like, almost, let's say, three months. But the thing was too good to let go. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, oh, fuck it. We're going to do it. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know. I just knew as well and he knew as well that yeah. I, I can't uh, live without this person. And that's it. Ooh. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's but so then awesome. I came to know <laughs> I was suffering with mumble rap. If I knew the mumble rap before... Oh. 
Yeah, I know. It yeah, would be a different have... story. Different um, story. Yeah, yeah well, by the way, T Tif uh, <laughs> Tif Philly sang Saw Tool a few years ago and they were amazing. You know what, T Philly? I love you, but I hate you at the same time because whoever tells me they saw Tool live, I'll be like, fuck my life. Oh, God. You, know, you Tool lucky live? dude. Jay, I would sell my left kidney to fucking see. Like, uh, like, he loves the vocalist more than me. By no the way. fucking oh. no. Do, yes. Why you, you love do, Maynard? Why brother. you do this comparison? Do, no, don't you, do just it. Just now you mentioned you're influenced by him. Yes, I am influenced, but don't bring him to your level. He is on a different place. You're in a different place. You, you know, I'm joking, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, right? Just trying to prove okay. a point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Tiffany saying three months and then marriage, dude. Like. We've said it before in our other streams. It's just you know when you know you know. Yeah. So it's yeah. that it's that uh, ignition point when you started and it like starts smoothly. Yeah. Shit and is there good and there go. were a lot of hurdles uh, for us cu culturally as well, but it all went smoothly mm. because yeah. of you know it was just easy, so we knew. But yeah. But man, I would love to pick your guys' brain on that. Like that at some oh, point. Yeah. That's oh yeah, like, you can. You by can another, anytime another, another, we can. Another point in life, for sure. Um, anyways, sure. anyways. I, mean, I mean, Jay, you're not the first person. This this channel, we kind of, you know, we we have people pass around, like you know, sorry, pass by, and they, you know, most of them are like teenagers around like 20, 20, you know, I'm sorry, eighteen. Like, do you mean on Twitch, like yeah, yeah, on the yeah, stream? Yeah. yeah. I was on like, who's stream. passing us around twenty so, years no, old? I said passing, passing okay. by. Like <laughs> so they they kind of like you know connect with us immediately and. Uh, they ask us some shit because they know we got married like soon and stuff like this and they ask us about like life and when advice it, like, and like oh I'm going through this we become like therapists for just we're strangers. like we feel old already yeah they just show up and they make us feel older yeah but we're cool I feel with like it. a just... boomer like you know like I don't understand their lingo I don't understand anything and then I'm giving them advice so <laughs> the thing is like uh, we, we kind of have that vibe of like you know consultation channel <laughs> we give yeah. free you know? free therapy yeah. to everyone you know by yeah. just being here t phil is saying cool. he's been married for th for 10 years man oh wow, dude congrats, congratulations, man. congratulations on that congratulations yeah. you know that uh, meme. Uh, see last stream i told you guys his brain is a meme it's all just memes in there okay jay wh where are you at with whole ig trends and like you know this whole videos that goes around those funny uh, audios on them why uh, why funny. is that a question oh, like oh, tiktoks with like different audios on them that that is that what you're saying yeah those 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 trendy ones you know like uh, have, i'm sure it passed you by uh, like uh, sorry it uh, like it came on your browser you know the one that says you <laughs> you see this guy have you heard about that that, that audio I don't think so. I don't you see this guy, number one bullshit guy. I will guy? leave the stream and I will really? go. Really, you never seen it? If you mention it, I will leave and I will go. <laughs> I will, if you dare say the line, I will kill you. Oh Ooh. my god! No, it's because because like both of us, we just send like or either animal uh, memes or like, sorry, like 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 mm -hmm. animal videos or memes or like those trendy shit to each other because they're funny. But I get stuck on them for a while, so I keep talking about it. And whenever she says this guy, I'll just go immediately on that, you know, on that side and just keep on saying it for the whole day. Just one line the whole day. <laughs> I, I'm like not versed when it comes to that. Um, I don't like a, I don't like a lot of the uh, trendy uh, sounds that are mm. over video i don't know when this started when we were like hey we should replace our audio with something entirely different yeah, and I think, like yeah some of the songs just like drive me up the wall uh oh god the one where the kids are singing like um like it's like children sing i don't even know the dude audio. there's so many is. of them there's so many of there's them so many stop and it, stop it <laughs> Stop it. Stop it all. <laughs> he really got it's, triggered by that. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, it's so annoying. I can, I can, I, I think I figured out that you are not the guy behind the whole IG and shit, yeah? You're mm. not in charge. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, unfortunately, I, um, uh, I took, like, a break after my last band. I, like, mm. kind of, things were, it was a rocky uh, exodus of that so I was just like 
I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't like social media. I took too long of a break. So when I come back to it with, um, with these guys, I'm like, so what do I post? What do I say? Oh. How, what do I talk? Like, what do I do? Yep. And like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at it. It's something I, I aspire to get better at. I just don't know. This is where I feel old. I'm mm. just like bad at it. I'm like just very bad at all social. There's too many. There's like. 30 of them and you got to update them all yeah. separately like why yeah. why don't we have just why can't we just have my space like we have Oh, dude, good one. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, because he's a millennial, so he's still, you know, on the boat with us. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. exactly. He can relate to the struggle yeah, like we I never, have when I it never comes got to on, trendy shit. Like, I never got onto the bandwagon of Facebook. Like, I don't, I don't know. I still hate it. I yeah. loathe it. Facebook I can't. just lost it. And Instagram, and just, I just tolerate because of, uh, you, you know, because I have an art page over there. Yeah. So that's why. That's it. I mean, apparently. Oh, I your mean, art is so sick, by the way. Sorry. I, I, oh, thank you. Oh, so sick. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank that you, means a you. lot. I mean, uh, that's why I married her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, more art. Just keep doing that. That's all I need. <laughs> that's all. That's all I need in my wife. Just art. <laughs> yeah, just art. <laughs> but, dude, I mean, I was about to say this, like, you know, because we're we, th because we had to grind to get that fucking song that we're looking for you i'm sure you went through the whole kaza and limewire period yeah mm -hmm. oh yes Frost finding oh. do finding that uh, wait a second what the fuck just happened tamashi saka oh my thank god you thank you much. dude for the subscriptions thank, thank you. you no he gifted he gifted the, uh, dude, oh my god tamashi this saka. guy is chicken nuggets created the <laughs> Oh my thank god! Thank you very much. Thank you so Shaka. much, dude. And uh, last time he was on stream, I was yeah, not there. Yeah. So, uh, and again, he gave five. Uh, yeah. Like he gifted five subs. Thank you for dropping by. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. How's everything going? Let us know how's the day so far. Yeah, Thomas. Thomas. Sisha, Thomas. Uh, what the fuck? Thomas Shisaka <laughs> is our good friend, and he's a Twitch streamer as well. Oh my god. He he has oh, like Shisaka. yeah, man, dude. This guy is insane, Jay. He oh, yeah. like he's you know hilarious. for the newcomers to his channel, he plays a chicken nugget song with a chicken nugget filter on his face, and he dances mm. it out. <laughs> It's just like crazy good, man. And he's uh, he's sold. he's from the UAE, from the uh, from this country, from United yeah. Arab Emirates. He's one of the few United Arab Emirates streamers that we are, you know, in touch yep. with. And he's also, his cool humor dude, is man. dope. His, his humor is just yeah. He really makes me laugh much, on his streams. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tamashi uh, Saka, for the subs and everything. And I'm hydrating and. Welcome to the stream. This is our guest Jay. He's a vocalist of uh, mm -hmm. the band Younger. Uh, the, the they're a post. Uh, by the way, what you guys put the genre as post hardcore or is That's like what now they keep it's saying they, they keep saying post hardcore, but I'm just like some somebody in our group is saying post hardcore. I've been saying alternative rock because it's like I don't I wouldn't say post hardcore. I, like my way out there's like a little bit of a breakdown i copped out of that entirely mm. like i was like that's not a breakdown i'm not i'm not gonna that's not post hardcore this is not what i i think post hardcore is so. i i think I, the I hardcore part right. is missing it as you said you guys are i mean maybe this is the this is the path that the band is taking with you because yeah now it's becoming much more of that sound that everyone can relate to you guys are like it's easier for younger music now to you know get to younger people and even people and in, even in people our age. Are, yeah like i told you it triggered memories for yeah. me so that i'm sure that it's probably helping people out there even go back to their older selves and yeah. their younger selves like or, it has more reach now yeah if you were and again i mean let's keep this in bracket me as a as an artist i hate this whole thing as labeling things because it's it went out yeah. of fucking proportion and uh, even with like a lot of metal bands nowadays i don't like try to uh i will tell the i will tell the artist what they sound like to mm. me but i don't put them in genre because yeah. it's very hard to do yeah. that yeah because people now are making everything so like complex and um it, it, it mixes a lot of different sounds and variations because and they want to reach to that tiny secluded market yeah that and be and like stand out yeah. so that means that you cannot put them in uh like a slot for you, you know? guys as you said i will keep you guys as alternative rock alternative metal like you know the new age uh melodic 
metal I can like or like melodic rock or you know something like this but again you right. guys are on, on that I will get like I'm, I'm saying this with being 150% sure you guys are on that path of top 40 level you guys can yep. go there like radio friendly radio is going to like you know pick it up the you know the music is not uh, how to say it it's not dark or sad it is it's a mix of everything yeah, that relatable. keeps it, yeah it it's it's like a exactly very very relatable and a combination of feelings and emotions but at the end the result is something that can be marketed out to everyone yeah. It's not only for like oh the elitists or for the metalheads or yep. like for the metalcore kids or the post hardcore. You understand where I'm going with this? Yeah. Like, by, you guys the way, are a, by the way, by the way, is re redeeming hydrate again. Jesus They're uh, up to their bullshit again. So I have to go <laughs> pee probably. Thank you so much, you you guys. <laughs> troublemakers, all of them troublemakers. troublemakers. By the way, I, I I missed out on Tamashisaka's uh, comment. He said, "Naz, I'm good so far. Today's D and D oh Dungeon oh, Dragon nice. session. It's confirmed that I have the werewolf curse after fighting one. <laughs> Thanks, fam. Glad to see you guys. Thank you very much, Tamashisaka, for joining us. I and know, Abzi you. said, "Can we do a universal toast to the fact that music has become so I already much had, accessible? I already had my. Yeah. Oh my God! Mm. Even Tifel is redeeming hydrate. Jesus why, you guys? Why?" And uh, and and murder base is saying gatekeepers be like don't talk to me if you don't know that jazz fusion inspired Eastern groove oriented <laughs> black and shoegaze from Iceland. What? <laughs> that's what we're going for. What? There you go, what does that say? That, that's, that's the genre you want to make, Jay. Yeah, that's your. That's what. Damn. That's what Gemini is all day. All day. But, jazz fusion inspired Eastern. Yeah, I I cannot stand that. Like, yeah, man, this whole mm. labeling shit is just like yeah. bullshit because they, again, it comes down to justifying and finding that fucking niche market for yourself. And like, dude, it, at the end of the day, your music is gonna be in the archive of every freaking music that it was there since dawn of time. Yeah. You're gonna be part of the whole fucking lineage of Mozart and Beethoven and all these guys. So just move along put your craft because we always say this on the show i mean if you agree I'm, I'm sure you would agree with us jay that for example my way out people know the story behind it but once you put it out it's it's for the universe to take it and implement it in their own ways you get yeah. it yeah 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 so Absolutely. some people they don't think this yeah. way when it comes to music like you know apparently murder base has a friend of them that He's been like recording for 18 years the same album and still it's not perfect. I don't know what the fuck the guy. Years? I don't know. Sorry, 18 times he recorded the album 18 oh, times. 18 I don't know either times? 18 times or 18 years. I Both don't know what weird. the fuck he yeah. wants to do with it. And then like you know, what's going on? Are you, are you that type of a perfectionist that you cannot get it together? <laughs> Did he just like start? 14 years, 14 18 years times. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, you need to chug a lot of water. They hi they really redeemed a lot of it. Yeah. And he's expecting a granite. I mean, geez, I sure would be as well if I spent fourteen Damn. years. Jay, well, you, you would have like fucking start over. And he said it doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Did he just like start over and just like new session? I'm gonna. I'm gonna redo this entire song, dude. Is that what he did, dude? I mean, apparently the guy plays a nine-string guitar and well. I saw uh. the guy's uh, videos and shit. I don't know how to put it in context for. I mean, the whole translation from Persian to uh, to English would lose the essence of the word. He is doing well, like I'm traditional. Persian, it, it's kind of like traditional type of uh, poetry in Persian. And he's implementing mm. that style in metal. Wow, Dude, that like sounds interesting poetry? to me now. It's not. It's like you know, it's like it's oh like no, 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 it's like you know, like you know, something like this. I'm like, it doesn't go, man. It doesn't I'm go. I'm intrigued. I might m give it a shot if I get to listen to it. I would love to at least try to see what the what he's cooking up for 14 years. Yeah, that that, that I mean, if if it was Jay, I, I'm sure he would fucking put 14 albums in this 14 <laughs> years you know like 
He by, no, by I'll the... probably overthink him and just never release anything. That's like that's <laughs> my thing. <laughs> by the way, Jay, you've mentioned that you've uh, played acoustic and you've mentioned you've uh, you uh, write on the piano. But is there any other instrument that you would like to uh, take up in future and you know dabble into uh, that kind of a thing? I want to get better at drums. I play a mm -hmm. little bit of everything, just mm, like nice. not like. <sighs> Well enough to uh, to record, I guess. Like, and that just that's a very loose thing. Um, mm -hmm. I started with trumpet, saxophone, and then I did guitar. Um, what a uh, drums! Wow. I, I learned from my dad. I want to I want to learn a lot more with, mm -hmm. with drums and just understand like the structure of that better. Um, right. Violin, that one's impossible for me. I, anything with a bow, I don't. I like. That's that's challenging. That's like to make it not school heel because it has to. You have to like push down hard enough, but not too hard, but hard, yeah. but not too hard. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I would love to. I'd love to learn anything really. I think like violin would be a fun goal. Oh um, yeah, man. Violin I've always great... wanted to learn it. Always. By the way, a fun thing like uh, Jay would make like what the. 10th person or the 11th person on this sessions that we got musicians on board that they actually play piano as well yeah or like you know they always wanted to pick up the piano like yeah is it a, is it something with all the musicians that they it's the i i know it's one of the I easiest the instruments core, yeah and but, also the core like you can make your like melodies and everything ready on You know, I never had a thing for keys, man. To be honest with you, like really? drums, yeah, yeah, I, dude. I'm a huge like, like I would love because I'm because I started with bass, so I think I can be a good drummer, but I suck at drums, <laughs> like bad. So, <laughs> like you know, I'm much more of like, uh, uh, like you know, bass, mostly bass. Guitars is just down tuning, so just fucking power chord the shit out of it. Hmm. So uh, other than that, uh, no, I never had a thing for keys. Hmm. That's that's super intriguing. I I was like spoiled growing up. My dad had a Fender Rhodes, a, okay. an organ, and like a super nice piano. I did not like piano then. I only learned guitar to to um, supplement my my voice so that I had right. something to sing to mm -hmm. and something to write to. And then I learned piano the same way. And then I'm just mm -hmm. like, piano just makes sense. It's like it's it it just it's so simple. It's so simple. As soon as you're like. As soon as it clicks, as soon as it clicked for me, I was just like, "Oh, yeah, this is, this is like cake." I don't know. I I wouldn't say I'm it, it by any means like at a pro level or or um or anything, but like I do, I just understand it well enough, and I feel like it's very beneficial just for writing, for production. Mm -hmm. uh, since I, mm -hmm. I I do produce, uh, I do write for like other artists. Um, it it definitely helps me with that. Oh, with that's that. amazing, man! That's Let's amazing. Go. I mean, uh. Uh, she mentioned it a couple of times on the show, but I never actually like. I have three songs recorded. It's all my thoughts, and they are like on a demo level. But I think you will relate to it because I was going for something like what you guys are doing at in younger. Ooh. My my songs can I, I I will send you the stuff. They might because whoever listened to it is like, man, I just need a gun to kill myself. That, that that's how depressive they are. Apparently, I don't know. I mean, you made them. So. Yeah. I can't blame you. But before, I but before I marrying me, he was a he was a very cheerful person, as you can see. <laughs> nice, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will actually send you a couple of the stuff. I have I have three songs that I never saw the fucking daylight at all. Like only. Have I listened to them though? Yeah, yeah. This is the fifth time asking me on the stream. <laughs> like. Uh, sorry. Dude, yeah. Sorry. So I I will send you a couple of these stuff. Cheers. Check it out, man. Check it out. I, I, dude, with me, I am that musician and artist that. I would take any fucking feedback. For example, you, I mean, Murder mm. Base, I think Murder Base showed, uh, showed, showed you our new single, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, um, like, yeah. you know, the feedback I always get, like, after playing a set with my band in here, like, you know, in Dubai, it's like, oh, you guys are like, uh, if System of a Down and Deftones had a kid with a sprinkle of Limp Bizkit, I'm like, 
That is such a perfect Mm. description. Thank you. Such, who said that to you? (laughs) A friend of ours. Dude, what an accurate description. (laughs) uh, But some people, like, you know, if, like, the guy was telling me that his band, you know, people are comparing my band to Kill Switch Engage, and I was like, dude, that's a fucking great fucking comparison. Why you're pissed off? Well, also, people mention other bands because you remind them of it. Like, again, I'm repeating what what I was saying For example, but when, when you said, like, it gave you that One Republic feel. Yeah, like it was new. It, it, it was new for Jay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, Jay, as a musician, what is the main message that Jay from Younger wants to send to the universe with Younger's music? Mm. Everything's gonna be okay. That's that's like just that essence of hope that everything will be okay. So, so it's not bad to be a little optimistic, even when times are. Um, not not very easy to be optimistic through. Like mm. that's that's what I wanna that's what I wanna do. I I, I want to put that message out there and just I like I don't know. I've had a I've had a very interesting experience um, with life. Done a lot of a lot of things and a lot of a lot of negatives, a lot of positives, and like just yeah. I just wanna I just see I have a, a perspective that I'm proud of in the sense that. Um, it's that essence of hope like like we we can do this we got this like just don't like it's not that hard to um to not be a pile of trash to people you know just be Mm -hmm. a good person do the right thing and optimistic i'm I'm kind of going off no 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 Um, no no. you're actually you're actually making a lot of sense because at the end of the day the the art should speak and there is a message behind it and you're and you're putting it in like you know proper way like not yeah. give up and if you're optimistic in hard times exactly. it's it, it should be that way yeah and it's mm-hmm. uh, translated through the music which gets through to the listeners and mm-hmm. the viewers so they they understand that yeah you know so it becomes like a kind of a small circle of you know all these hopefuls together yeah. so it's it's kind of it's it's very interesting yeah. that you know musicians and artists in general they all share that same interest yeah. as in like you know being you know changing the whole thing by the way before that thank you guys very much for the raid i don't know who raided me <laughs> i think skewy something raided the smiling cow yeah the smiling cow thank you Sorry. so much thank you very much thank uh, you very much smiling uh, cow for the following saying and i searched for india and metal music and we were the only two channels live oh thank you oh, very much thank, thank you. you thank you thank you for the stream yeah. and thank you for the follow thank you are you. being so generous thank, thank you, you so for much. the follow the smiling cow thank you, i thank love you. that the username and epic we we wake epic we wake thank you very much I'm, guys i hope we're not butchering you yeah i hope here. by the way you guys are in the right place our oh, yeah. guest jay from the, the he's the vocalist of the californian band younger uh, and uh, we showcase a couple of their songs over here oh, yeah. and uh, you guys got kind of late to the session because we're almost like closing it up but Please do check his band out, which is like the the handle is under the video frame of Jay. It's Younger Band at Younger Band on uh, on IG. They're dope fucking people, and we were talking about their music, and their music videos are top of the fucking roof. Man. Oh yeah, their oh, yeah. music, <laughs> man. I still can't say enough about the music, like yeah. the music video. I, I don't want to ask how much it costs you, but I'm sure that is not fucking cheap. You know what we um. It, it would be like I really really got fortunate here like the the uh, videographer is like a childhood friend of oops sorry oh a lot of calls today <laughs> do you want right, me to answer the call <laughs> yeah could you please sorry about that I um no, 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 that's that's fine. Okay. I'm that's doing okay. another podcast after this and like he um to call me i told him i texted him when i was done but i mean anyway we're like you know um, i mean a couple if, you, of minutes, if you have to head out uh, it's fine no? man. like no, we're, we're gonna be guys? closing it down in a bit dang it's like sunday for you guys right like yeah sunday, we are already yeah, we already hit in sunday yeah yeah <laughs> it's saturday it's like 
Like it is middle of the day Saturday. What? A, what that's so crazy. Yep. Uh, this is um, what we face with a lot of artists and bands we bought uh, down from like Europe or America because the time difference was too much. Yeah. And they I were was just... telling him about Recoil and Horror that uh, oh, because I double Ian. checked with Jay last night. I'm like, yeah. listen, just let's stay clear. <laughs> it's your 10 a.m. and my 10 p.m. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Because when we, when we did that like pre-chat, I was just like, yeah. okay, hold on. What day is it for you right now? Because I just want to. <laughs> What like what is Saturday for you? Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, right. because the we faced it. Like Twelve hours. Sorry, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, because we faced it, and we were just uh, you know concerned that we need we get the time zone uh, correctly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Nox, yeah. you are already yeah, hi- uh, redeeming hydrate. Yeah, my my bladders or no, because he didn't he didn't redeem hydrate. He did. When did he scroll up? You will see. Oh Jesus. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just the first thing I'm gonna do after getting off this is rush to the washroom. Why? Just why you guys torture us? Anyway, Jay, you know what? Let's uh, let's wrap it up. What? Uh, okay, as you said, like the message for of younger is to not lose hope and stay optimistic. Shit happens. It's okay, and move on. Where do you see younger in five years from now? That's such an interview job interview question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm right here with this company, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a very job interview <laughs> question. Um, yeah. Um, it's like COVID's weird. Obviously, it's changed the world in many, many ways. Um, the sh- shutting venues down. I don't, I, I don't have um, the most clear vision of it as to what will happen next. Because I was not expecting. Nobody, nobody was expecting any of this. Mm-hmm. Um, five years. I'm still going to be doing exactly what I'm doing. I, I hope that within that time. Uh, we've reached. <clears throat> we we're, we'll be fortunate enough to have the platform and the audience to to to, to follow us and to be a part of this journey, and yeah. to just follow as this name Younger does not. It won't age well. There will be a point where the name Younger will not be a good name for us. Um, <laughs> but again, there so. there is our good friend and the mod of this channel, Knox Voyager. He's saying, who would think that a band I follow would show up on this podcast? Jay, thank you for the amazing music. I look forward Aww, for the so album. Sweet. Also, Spotify recommended came on my playlist. That is so, awesome. So, Knox, we didn't even know you know about Jay and Younger. That is so, awesome. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. So sick. Yeah. Nox, thank you so much. I'm happy that you like the that you like the song and like that's cr- that's so crazy. What a small world. Yeah, what a small world. Yeah, Here and he's go. actually <laughs> right though. Like, I I I would love to see an album like in future. You know, once definitely because I understand happen. with the singles, it's more like controlled. And you guys, yeah. I I understand as an artist that you know you go go with that choice. But as an album, oh lord, sounds yeah. really good. I've never done an album myself. Like I've never. I've never, I, I've done enough music to make an album, but I've never done an album where I'm like, this is, this is it. We're uh, we're working on it right now. We've got like, uh, we're writing some some of my favorite songs that mm-hmm. I've like. It, it with the craziest. It's so weird. Like, well, nobody will have written anything. We'll all just be jamming something, mm-hmm. and like we've made like five songs that I've like that are insane. I can't believe they're ours. Um, nice. So. We're we're gonna we're getting a, we're gonna go get a place in the middle of the woods, um, and just lock the DIY system. that shit out. Heck yeah, just a bunch of us dudes and uh, <laughs> it happens. Man, Jay, thank you very much for joining us for this se- for, for this session. You're a great sport, man, and a I genuine know. soul. Great musician. Yep. Keep on doing what you're doing. Do the grind and. You know, shit is about to happen for you guys. And exactly. we at Combos and Chill, we wish you all the best. For sure. And just keep doing it, man. You guys are on the right path. Everyone, their, their head is in the game. And they know what you got. Like, you know, they know what they want to do. Yeah, especially and the uh, amount of talent with which you guys are working with. Exactly. And also the people that are helping you with the visuals and the videos and everything. That it's just escalating. Um the reach for you guys you know yeah. like people will get more curious and uh, uh more intrigued about you know what's the band about and exactly. even like for example if you guys put up the stories for like how you made it and what mm, the went in the process and stuff. like yeah uh, people would enjoy that and i, I can mean see our 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 new follower smiling cow is saying sounds really good i'm listening to my way out oh and dope then, yeah and then he's That's saying awesome. albums are a whole uh, endeavor and themselves takes more than 
the sum of this of its parts and yeah i can it, it does take more yeah, work and yeah. time but then you know uh, as a f- like for example as a fan like as a listener myself mm. i would love to have something that i can binge listen you yeah. know like something that i can keep playing keep playing keep playing and let my ears feed off mm. of it I, i love doing that like i was telling him he still <coughs> he said this on the podcast a lot i find amazing artists and then i find like a They single disbanded. or or like just one album and i'm like oh my lord i was looking forward to like a discography and just like feeding off of music you know so uh, uh hopefully i would love to see you guys at that phase and uh, Uh, you know that that definitely. huge step where you have that much for everyone who turns up to listen to and uh, you know and i'm sure that it's not going to be that that long that or that far away for sure definitely yeah. definitely we'll be 14 years don't worry <laughs> 14, 14 14 years <laughs> and 18 times that's oh, God. it <laughs> By I the want way. to hear his music. <laughs> I'm at the edge of my seat. <laughs> By the way, T. Phil is saying what's at night? Jeez, you've you seen Dog Soldiers? I, is that a movie? I don't know. What is it? What is it, T. Phil? I don't I know. know. Doesn't ring a bell. What's at night is fun though. It's like that's that's a. Uh, I, I don't know. Middle of nowhere, no one can find you. It's just a rock band like what's what's more fun than than that yeah. exactly exactly but j man thanks a lot for dedicating the time to join us for this session it's it's our pleasure to have you yeah. and it was a great session talking to you and to get to know uh, yeah, you better exactly you know? i enjoy that whole process yep and uh, please please tell our uh, audience where they can find the music and you know if they i mean i already put your personal page of uh, ig and the band's ig so yeah. can you just go ahead and tell them where they can find the music and all the other platforms that you guys are part of all all streaming platforms it's out there uh, younger just drop the o y u n g e r and uh, we've got a uh, we've got some We're going to be dropping another song here shortly with uh with Lucas of Vela Maya. Um you that, you tell us be, now? I tell you now. <laughs> I uh, I didn't know the right time for this. Um, <laughs> Just at the end was the right one. <laughs> oh my super god. Super excited about it though. Uh, Dude, that's that'll be our fucking next one. great. That's dope. Oh that's my dope, god. man. Can you believe that I'm singing harsher on this song than he is? Dude, I'm really looking forward oh, to that shit. Oh, that is awesome. I'm really wo- Because you, you know that's why I was telling that when when I heard his voice he can go through like different different styles. So this if it's harsher, oh. Dude, best I'm of waiting. luck with that. I hope the best and just fucking kill it, man. Yep. Fucking kill nice, it, man. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. I really, oh, I really appreciate it. I've never done anything like this before. This is super new to me. Uh, I really appreciate Oh. This is a uh, this is a warm up. Yeah, so. and, and we're just very relaxed. Uh, I hope that you have more of these relaxed ones in future. So you know you you feel you're gonna have you're well. gonna have a lot more, yeah. man. And you guys deserve it because yeah. you guys are putting like you know the passion shows. It, it no one needs to fucking go down and you know to find out shit about. They see the product, they see the videos, they they hear the music. I, dude, I didn't know that bunch of people in my comment would know about your band exactly. already. Here yeah. you go. I already listen. listen to exactly. Yeah. And Knox, you better like share with us artists that you listen to and exactly. like like help us support like uh, help us help artists, you know. Exactly. So, yeah. And yeah, Jay, Knox. you as well, if you have anyone in mind that uh, you know I'm from, already going to be list- uh, sending yeah, him my just uh, let us know if list. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna send you some Ariana Grande. <laughs> my, um, I got a text from my oh girlfriend. My She's like, I don't know about these people. They're, uh, <laughs> they're insulting Ariana. So um, yeah. no, we'll see, be, I, I'm on the we'll side of Ariana. I like her sing because she can sing. You know, she can go high and stuff. But the problem We're your girlfriend so has to have problem with him, not me. Ah. <laughs> I mean, to each its own. But uh, I will just read a couple of the last comments. Oh, Tiffany yeah. saying, "I've really enjoyed this stream. Best of luck to Younger and Thank Jay you for so the future." Thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, and uh, and so uh, smiling cow is saying, "Psyched for you guys, Jay." Knox is saying, "I will." I've been getting. And to orange goblin lately. That's what Tiffany said. I don't know what's an orange goblin. Tiffany, right? just like all you guys, whoever's listening, just drop us artists that you guys want yeah, us to listen yeah. to. And if there's anyone who we can reach out to, we'll definitely for try. Sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. So you guys orange can give us goblin. a follow on. Uh, sorry, Jay. Yeah, carry on. No, no, no. It's just, uh, <laughs> It sounds like a villain. Who? Like the green goblin. Yeah, Oh, yeah, but it's yeah. the orange goblin. This yeah, is like exactly. Orange this is, this Makes is you brother. Curious, yeah. <laughs> <Your> cousin. <laughs> <Your> cousin. 
But again, guys, thank you very much for joining us. And mm-hmm. give us a follow at Combos and Chill on IG and FB. And you guys can go to linktree.com, Combos and Chill. You can get all the platforms, the links and everything. Subscribe to us on YouTube because we're trying to grow that community over there as well. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to follow Jay's band, Younger Band, at Younger Band on IG as well. There to stay up to date with their news and everything. And when they're going to drop the new song. And if you guys want any black ink designs and tattoos, tribal, Maori, please contact my beautiful wife she's a phoenix on her page at she's a phoenix on ig yeah. so if yeah. you have anyone in town in dubai that they want good brownies again contact my beautiful wife <laughs> on her page <laughs> brownies by phoenix oh, we yeah. do the delivery we do the cooking as well mm-hmm. so no yeah problem at oh, all Oh, that's fun damn that's like you <laughs> all over the board it's like you want some you want some art you want some brownies like we got you <laughs> you want to chat on twitch we got you like you guys are you guys just got it all oh man well dude. we're trying we're dubai. dabbling into the this is the buy grind you need yeah. to do like so many side hustles <laughs> <laughs> but jay man you're a great fucking genuine soul great oh, yeah. sport man thank you very much again for joining us but stay with us until we close down the session i just going to be rating a friend of mine who is uh streaming we usually do this at the end of the twitch uh, streams so uh and also tamashi saka he redeemed hydra so you need to drink i just deeply. had it you I also had ha- you had it already yes Shit, i had I didn't know you this. are you are sorry <laughs> we're gonna be re- we're gonna be rating wonder oh god JB TV he's RG streaming friend. that's he's why streaming. he's not here making yeah, menace yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's why <laughs> This but dude. again guys thank you very much for joining us and whoever stayed with us you until now it again now. by the way oh my god stop tamashi saka i have to be so bad sorry i have to say i i can't <laughs> i have to just jump and go run but no worries man no worries our schedules are sundays tuesdays and thursdays mm-hmm. 7 p.m. dubai and 3 p.m. gmt mm-hmm. if you want some yeah. daily shenanigans just drop by yep so yeah. s- we will see you guys uh wait today is <laughs> Saturday. He doesn't Because know what we, day we, we it went is. off 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 schedule. It's so. technically Sunday. Yeah, yeah, technically Sunday. So yeah. we're going to see you guys soon, maybe in a couple of hours, but <laughs> take care of yourself and Jay, take care of yourself and have a good day, but stick around with us. Yep. Bye. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Stay-